What's good? What's happening? What's happening? Uh, 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 KZ, Divine, Spank, Fishman, how are things? Why no video? What do you mean why no video? What do you mean why no video? I don't believe you, this isn't real? What's not real? What you guys on about? <laughs> I just got here. Already asking silly questions. I, okay, so strength build. What's the requirements for the great sword? It's like twelve dexterity, right? Twelve dexterity. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, should I just go with like the confessor? Because I might go into a little bit of faith anyway for like flame grimy strength. Might as well. Says you're still playing Dark Souls three. Well, that's incorrect because I'm not playing Dark Souls three. Let's change it. Really thinks he's gonna beat this? Nuts from Burke. Close enough. Okay, which one looks like guts? That one looks like guts. I'm null, what's going on, man? Hope you're doing well. Mm -mm. Easiest p pure melee run? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Did my first Guts from Burk build a while ago and it's crazy how good the- yeah. It's really good. Um, Ali, what's going on? How are things? Um, surprisingly, I've actually never done a complete- I there's a lie. I think I have done a playthrough with the Greatsword. Probably just using like some random weapon skill though. Things are good. Glad to catch a stream. Glad to see you in the stream. Uh, Cream. What's up, man? Zainab, how are you? Early for once? I appreciate you stopping by either way. No matter what the time. Doing a Wild Strikes Rusted Anchor run at the moment? Wild Strikes Rusted Anchor is absolutely based. Can you use Lion's Claw or Giant Hunts? No. We're actually going to use something different. Okay, so I kind of want to pick something that I haven't really done. We'll probably end up switching it up a whole bunch. But I want to pick something that I don't really have much playtime in. I kind of want to use Stamp. What's going on, Yui Gang? Ah, uh, Mosul's going on, man. Yeah, I chose the Confessor. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? I don't know. David? Philip? I don't know. I probably I wanna use a stamp sweep and upward cut. I wanna use both. Might be like a stamp type of run. I'm not gonna lie. I might as well use things like Warcry as well. That could be kinda cool. Like Warcry Braggots Roll. I could use stuff like that. Because why not, you know? Just change the Ash of War in every region? <laughs> we'll see. I'll change it up a few times. Is Elden Ring stamp worse than Dark Souls 3? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Like, stomp in Dark Souls 3. There's like three different versions. There's like a sweep one, there's an upward cut one, and there's like a downward slam. Elden Ring doesn't get the downward slam version. But you can pick and choose which one you actually do want though. Which is cool. Gravitas? <laughs> I don't think you can even put Gravitas on a Colossal Sword. Actually, I don't know, maybe you can. But I definitely want to use Stamp, both Sweep and Upward Cut, and probably like the roll based weapon skills. We'll use those ones. Ah, uh, Finko, what's going on, man? 
We'll use those. I deserve my own YouTube short. You deserve to get timed out again, honestly. That's what it's sounding like. But yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to use Lion's Claw or Giant Hunt, I'm not going to lie. I don't think so. Mm -mm -mm. Do you know you can chain Lightning Ram into rolling attacks? E I probably forgot, but I, f I did a run with Lightning Ram. But that's nice to know, I guess. Lightning Ram is actually really good. Have you heard, Acer, but you, I can put turning root to eight if you need own to the Actually really good. Summon me. Ah, I bequeath. Hope this run won't be like the Dark Souls. No, it won't be like Dark Souls one run. <laughs> I'm actually good at this game, right? Surely I'm good at this game. Surely nothing bad. <laughs> we'll see. Flaming strike? Wait, can you put flame you can't put flaming strike on a colossal sword, right? Wait, can you? No, you can't. So I was about to say, like, what? <laughs> That'd be a bit broken. Ah, uh, Elias, let's go to man. How are things? Why is look at him choke 500 points? I can make it more expensive if you want me to. You didn't answer my question from the last stream? It's because it was a stupid question. It was dumb. It was a dumb question. I think you should just try it anyway and see what happens. I'll, coffee, what's going on? How are things? I dare you increase the cost. Is this uh, Yes, this is actually nuts from Burke. Anyway, what's going on, Miyazaki? How are things? That's fine. I don't need a Sunburstone anyway. Can that... Bro. What's with this Knight Rider? Nuts from the Angry, the manga? Yeah. The guy is always angry for no reason. Unbelievable. Miyazaki himself is here. Yeah, it says that. Hidetaki Miyazaki. And his picture is of him, so it must be the exact person. So, yeah. He's my biggest fan. I have 3k holy damage. I haven't used it once. <laughs> you don't have to. You can collect it and just flex on everybody else. Got an April Fools that I think I do. I don't know. I have like a couple of ideas of what you want to do for an April Fools video. I don't know. It would just be a matter of executing it, I guess. I'll think about it more later. Should I read the Guts manga? You mean Berserk? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to. It's pretty good. Your fake secret that Mike Zaki said isn't found yet. Five minutes into the stream, we've got to go getting our first timeout. And of course my stream is Oh, what the fuck, man. You know what? You're not getting timed out. You're, you're lucky. Unless... <laughs> Jump! Millennia when? Soon. We just started the playthrough, so we're, we're almost at Millennia, right? <laughs> Manga is very long. Yeah, it's not even finished as well. He got the timeout? No one got timed out. I was gonna timeout Finca, but then my fucking computer started lagging because, you know, every single time where it's raining in the game or when there's trees around, my computer just lags. 
Obviously when I'm streaming as well. It's like impossible to load anything. Check back on Aiden to 11 hours. Rapiers Marathon next. Now we're going to do a Scythe Marathon next. Beating all the games with a Scythe. And then we can rank all the Scythes. That'd be cool. A Harkin, let's go to man. Um, we'll light this Grace just in case I need it for whatever reason. The guts from Burk manga has very bad translations, but it's still very readable. Unless you read it online. Um, yeah, I read it online, and it hasn't been that bad, honestly. That was a long time ago, though. I don't, I don't remember it being bad. Um, Timothy, what's up, man? Does Demon Souls have a scythe? It has two scythes. Um, one of them is the war scythe. It doesn't really look like much of a scythe. It kind of looks like more of like a glaive. Um, doesn't look like your regular scythe. Um, it does actually have one that was specific and unique to the Demon Souls remake. Right? Um, but that one was actually a pre-order bonus. <laughs> it was a pre-order bonus, but it's literally the exact same thing as the War Scythe. It's just a different skin. But, I don't know. They just decided to make it a pre-order bonus. For whatever reason. I'm not going to do the marathon tomorrow, no. We're not going to stream tomorrow, and I'll probably just do something like random the day afterwards. Is Rivers of Blood the stand-in of the Chaos Blade? No. There's no Chaos Blade equivalent, so we don't have anything. Maybe they give us one of the DLC. Mm -mm. If you did a marathon where you did katanas in every game, would you also do Sekiro? I already did a katana marathon, right? <laughs> I mean, I did like a Chaos Blade marathon. And then I just decided to rank all the katanas anyway, because why not? Um, horse, what's going on, man? You're back, but not for long. If you do anything stupid, you're going to get banned again. Chaos Blade equivalent of Seppuku? I, would, I, I think there's no equivalent. <laughs> Because, like, Seppuku was in the other Dark Souls games. There's no equivalent to it. Like, the closed, I don't know. The closest thing will probably be, like, Blood Blade. Because, like, it takes damage every single time you swing. But even then, that's not even similar. Um, Taiwan, what's going on, man? I am doing well. Mm -mm. That goes to Blue Flame and Bone Fist weapons. That'd be really cool. Radagon Spell Talisman? Oh, the Radagon's Icon? Yeah, it's in uh, Rayo Lucario. Right above the Red Wolf boss. Once you go out, you go like jump around the right side. After you exit the boss room. And you can climb up the ladder. <clears throat> and it'll be like in a chest, I believe. If I act normal for the entirety of April, can I get mud? No, you're never getting mud. Like, under any circumstance. Literally never. In fact, you have more of a chance of getting banned again. Today, in fact. Did I ever do a level 1 run? I've done plenty of level 1 runs in this game. I did like regular level 1 run, I've done like a level 1 run where I cosplay as an Albanuric. I did a level 1 torch run, level 1 spell run, level 1 naked club run, I don't know. <laughs> Bunch of random shit. I kind of want to do a level 1 new game plus 7 run. Which game is the hardest to level 1? We have actually haven't done all the games at level 1, so... That's probably the next marathon after the scythe marathon. We might do a level 1 marathon. That'll be cool. And no hit marathon? Hell no. <laughs> Never. The 
Does Alexander share a shot help with the ball strikes? Yeah. If it's a weapon skill, then you're gonna... Can I please jump? Every weapon skill gets boosted by the shot of Alexander. Would Ludwig's Holy Blade count? No. Ludwig's Holy Blade is not counting. We're just gonna do like the regular Greatswords. Because if I include Ludwig's and... There's so many other weapons that you can include as well that's like like somewhat similar. And then like the list is gonna be like way too long and it's just... No. We'll keep it simple. I already done a fit. Yeah, actually, the first marathon that I did was a fist up in marathon. You stupid idiot, dumb doo doo, dumb dumb buffoon. How stupid can you be? Why are you guys stupid? <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, you can actually go check out my fist weapon marathon. I condensed it into a video. It's like the only marathon that I actually condensed into a video. But it was like the first marathon that I did. And... It was shit. <laughs> it was really bad. Fist weapons are so bad in some of the... Like the earlier games, fist weapons are just terrible. Oh! My goodness. Please be normal. Does Elden Ring have a Grass Crush Shield? It has an equivalence to the Grass Crush Shield, but it's not good. Um, pray take us gonna man. Do you not read the fist marathon chat? What do you what does that even mean? How's Twitch going? They're fine, I guess, right now. <laughs> yeah, the turtle shield has the similar effect. It gives you stamina regeneration. Um, it boosts the stamina regeneration speed, but it's not good. I'm gonna go on this way, I don't have my sword yet. I can't even think of any fist weapons in Dark Souls 1. Oh, you have the Kestis. And in Dark Souls 1 and Demon Souls, claws were actually counted as fist weapons. They didn't separate claws and fists. They were just classified as the same thing. So, like, all claws are basically classified there as well. And you had the Dragon Bone Smasher. No, not Dragon Bone. Um, the Dragon Bone Fist in Dark Souls 1. And it was so bad. Fist weapons in Dark Souls 1 just did terrible damage. So bad. I um, mean, Demon Souls, they did terrible damage as well. Um, the worst thing about Demon Souls fist weapons is that you just missed, like, all the time. The range was so bad to where, like, you'd be pressed up against an enemy and you would still miss. It was, like, impossible to hit a Crystal Lizard. <laughs> she was so bad. <laughs> it's my favorite from the game. Probably Dark Souls 3. Ah, uh, Chef, what's going on, man? Yeah, the only good thing about the Turtle Shield is that you can do a Ninja Turtles cosplay. That's about it. You haven't still fixed TTS? I actually looked into it, and the it doesn't actually allow you to um use TTS when you only donate one bit. The minimum is 10. You can still use regular TTS. You don't have to donate bits to use TTS. Testing, testing. So you can use his regular TTS. You don't have to use bits. With one bit, it used to work. I did, like, change up one of my settings when it came to, um, my blurps and alerts. So maybe I fucked or something? I don't know. And uh, the best great hammer is the great stars. Uh, yeah, that one or the envoy's longhorn. But out of the ones that can be infused, yeah. Was there a Kestis and Demon Souls? Um, I don't think so. No. Wait, was there? I forget now. I don't think there was. Yeah, honestly, I have more of a chance of just reading what you say anywhere. Like, I, I can't even, like, hear the TTS half the time. I never have my audio turned up that much. Do I believe in aliens? Um... 
No. And there's the end of that conversation. <laughs> On to the next. Okay, guy. You we broke TTS, so here's motivation. Is Griffith by? Number one, keep your face towards sunshine and the shadows will fall behind you. But what if I get sunburned? <laughs> Actually, I gotta pick up the axe talisman. Why not? Because I said so, that's why. You're looking succulent today. Why are you guys like this? <laughs> I don't understand. But thanks though. I appreciate it. Do you believe in life after love? The fuck does that even mean? Will you just find love and fucking die? Ah, uh, Marco, what's going on, man? Hope you're doing well. Why am I here? What am I doing? I've got to go to, um, get the weapon that I need. It has a 31 strength requirement, correct? Oh, it's going to be a heavy weapon. It's going to take a lot of materials to upgrade. Literally the worst. Oh, lots of runes to upgrade. Worst guts is greatsword. Confirmed. Oh. So if they compliment you, it's okay? I mean, I just call them stupid, but yeah. But I get banned if I call you beautiful. Um, that's not why you got banned, no. <laughs> Rip Kentaro, yeah. Rip Kentaro. Ah, uh, Dragon, thank you for the follow. Mm -mm. What's going on, man? I just don't like how... It costs more souls to like... It's... The souls that it costs to upgrade a weapon is based on how heavy it is. I think that's such a stupid concept. It doesn't make any sense. And it kind of makes sense, but like, it's still stupid. <laughs> uh, Burner, what's going on, man? I did say that you changed your username. I did. Makes sense. It does make sense, but it's still stupid. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Because, like, when you think about it, like, the stuff doesn't even make sense to begin with. Like, if you want to upgrade, like, a seal, you need smithing stones and stuff. Like, I have to throw stones at my seal to upgrade it. That doesn't make sense. You could argue it shouldn't require runes at all. Yeah. Just dumb. Because, like, none of the other games really work like that. At least I don't think so. Maybe it did work like that in Dark Souls 3. I think it did, actually. By the way, the smithing stone situation is just the worst. Like, smithing compared to somber stones is, like, one of the worst things about this game. They dumbed down the upgrade system over the years? Um, I don't even know about that, really. Oh, they've made it, like, more and more streamlined. And they're getting, like, less and less material. I don't know, but in this game, it still doesn't make much fuck- It still makes sense, but, like, it's- They kind of just overcomplicated it still. Because you have like thousands of different types of stones. Like all like numbered. One, two, three, four. Like I understand we had this like small shards, large shards, chunks. That shit was fantastic. I forgot to get pick up the weapon. <laughs> That's fine. I gotta get flame gummy strength and then pick it up. But yeah, plus 25 is actually stupid. Like you need literally 90 something smithing stones. To upgrade a non-unique weapon. But you just need 10 Sombra Stones. It's like, what? <laughs> you need 12 of every single Smithing Stone. 12 of every single one. And there's 8. <laughs> Look, what the fuck? 
And it's not like those smithing stones are like, you know, dropping bunches. Most of the time you've got to pick up like one at a time as well. That's silly. Do I go to the gym? Does it look like I go to the gym? Because I don't. Mm. Do I even need to know why we upgrade weapons? Yeah, I mean like, they kind of have something against us... ...having fun. <laughs> Basically. They have something against us having fun. Because, like, when you look at Armored Core, that game is, like, actually flawless in terms of, like, build creation. Like, you can customize so easily. There is, like, no repercussion to, like, buying items because you can sell them for the exact same price. And you can mix and match without any penalty all the time. And it's just great. And it worked like that in every Armored Core game. Like, since the beginning. And then for whatever reason, in these games, they're just like, no. They have to cut, they have to cost a lot. Um, you can't infinitely respec. I keep forgetting to get my weapon. <laughs> Wait, where is it again? Was it further back this way? Or is that in that... I'm tripping now. It's here, right? Yeah, it's here. I don't know, I'm tripping. Um... How about a Guts Run IRL? Yeah, sure. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, this game that is hate us having to like customize our builds. You have to buy so many materials, you don't even get an infinite amount of like maxed materials, like dragon stones. For whatever reason. For whatever reason. You can't infinitely respec, also for whatever reason. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I have my weapon. I'm fat rolling. Hell yeah. Win Casca after the marathon. Forgive me to determine if you Some weapons are stupid broken, but they need so little to fully upgrade them, yeah. It's not like the smithing weapons are just like better as well, like... It's not even the case. I think you can get a plus 25 before a Morgoth, but you need to search pretty much the... yeah. You need to do a lot of shit. And even then, like, you ha that's just enough for one weapon. Like... You can get two weapons to, like, plus seven, eight or something like that pretty early on in the game. Summer weapons. And you can get a whole bunch to, like, plus six early on as well. Which is, like, the equivalent of, like, a plus 15, which, like... You can't really do that until after Morgoth. Um, here. Smithing weapons are better than Sumber ones though. There's no way. There's there's no smithing weapon in this entire game that's better than the Blasphemous Blade. Better than uh, Mogwin Sacred Spear or Darkman Greatsword. Like, you look at the top 20 weapons in the game, probably 15 of them are Sumber weapons. <laughs> Like Blasphemous Blade, Death's Poker, Wing of Astel, Bolt to Grand Sax, Envoy's Longhorn, like these are just way better. Because like typically, the somber weapons get better weapon skills. They also get much better scalings, right? Because you look at weapons that get split scalings. With the somber weapons, they might get like a B scaling in two different stats. Like the Wing of Astel or like the Moonveil getting two B scalings. But if you have like an infused weapon, you can't really get that. It doesn't really get that. If you want to make it elemental infused, you're getting like, you know, a B scaling in one stat and like a D or an E scaling in another. So, yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Gug's charged heavy just staggers everything. It doesn't do more stance damage than any other colossal weapon. A colossal sword, I mean. And Great Hammers do more stance damage.
Even a regular hammer does more stance damage than a colossal sword. Let's hope there's a level tier bell bearing, yeah. I think the reason why they don't give us infinite level tiers in Dragonstones is to give us an incentive to play their shitty ass new game plus that they didn't bother changing up at all. I don't know why, like if they if they did change up the new game plus to make it a bit different and put assets there that make the game different, then I'll understand them wanting us to play the new game plus, but I don't really know why they do. I don't know. <laughs> It's weird. What's my favorite cereal? I don't know. There's like Australian cereal that you guys just don't know. I like something called Crispix. That's just fucking banging. I like lots of cereal. Lots of stuff. But that's probably like my go-to. I genuinely never go to New Game Plus. Like, what's the point? I think the main point is like, obviously, if you're trying to get lots of weapons upgraded, you're just going to need to go to New Game Plus. Oh, if you just want to do like a fresh playthrough with like an end game weapon, because obviously typically there are some weapons you just can't get early on. If you want to do like a full playthrough with a Maraca's Hammer, can't really do that in a regular new game. There's no way I didn't roll there. There is absolutely no way. Armored Core 6 did new game plus, right? Yeah, I mean, Armored Core in general is a bit different. Because, like, it's just mission-based, and it's, like, a much shorter game. You can beat the whole, like, campaign, all the story-based missions in, like, 10 hours. So, like, adding different things to New Game Plus. It's easier to do it in Armored Core. Because you, all you got to do is add just different missions, and just, like, you know... That's about it, really. But I guess they don't really care to like make it different in New Game Plus because if they have any ideas, they want people to experience it in the regular New Game. I know, but they could have done something different. Because like, like Dark Souls 2 New Game Plus doesn't like do anything too drastic, but it makes it like a fresh enough experience to where like it feels like it's a different type of playthrough. I don't know. What's going on, Yui Gang? Mm -mm. Evan, what's going on, man? Any point of going to New Game Plus is the Power Stance unique weapons? Yeah, I guess. That's true as well. Where does Liza P rank among the FromSoft games? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to compare them, and I'm not bothered to really compare them. I like them all. They're fun. They're all great games. Do you have any side hustles? No. I literally, like, stream six hours a day. And then after I finish my stream, then I work on a video. I don't really have time to do anything else. <laughs> I'm not going to use Lion's Claw, no. Is Liza P harder than any FromSoft game? Um, I think, I, I guess, yeah. Six hours my butt. Five to six hours, okay. <laughs> Four hours max? Like the past? What do you mean four hours max? I streamed like five hours yesterday. I streamed like almost six the day before that. Leave me alone. Mm. Yeah, I think Liza P is harder than some of the FromSoft games. I miss Fire Seeds? Um... I don't. I don't. Uh, Lemon, thank you for the follow. What's the best weapons to power stance? I mean, curved swords, spears, straight swords, they're probably going to be your best ones. Four to six hours looking at your past few streams. See? Close enough. <laughs> Nameless Puppet is harder than Millennia? That's understandable why some people had a harder time. I mean, for me, Millennia was like the hardest boss I've ever fought. It's because like, it was my first playthrough was dog shit ass build. If I had like a decent build, and if I actually used a fucking shield or some shit, <laughs> it would not have been that bad. 
Um, yeah, I didn't like fire seeds. I'm not gonna lie. I don't like having a different upgrade system. Like, it's not that bad in Dark Souls 2 because fire seeds are very easily accessible. So it's actually pretty nice to upgrade it early on. But like, I don't know, just having it, having the less upgrade materials is just gonna make it better, honestly. But we think about fire seeds being good because there was a lot of them like easily accessible at the beginning. First build in Elden Ring, it was like a holy build because, you know, it's like holy damage is finally in the franchise. Wow. We're not going to go to Lyonia. I don't care. Let's go level this thing up. Oh, it's fine. Gonna have to speak to Rani. But I power stand some holy based um, curve swords. And then I switched to like power stance and the McKillan Night Sword and the Golden Epitaph. And that was just straight up trash. Because obviously, like, you know. I don't think both of them were actually fully maxed out as well. <laughs> like, but those are like, you know, terrible, like, faith weapons. And that was back when Sacred Blade was like trash as well. It wasn't trash, it was just like not that good. Okay. I did, okay, it's fine. You know what? Let's go back here. I think this guy here sells me some stuff. That works. That works. Fantastic. There we go. Ah, uh, Ghost, what's going on, man? How are things? Nameless Papa was easy for me. Nameless Papa, it was a good boss fight. I liked the Nameless Papa. He was good. I'm not playing on PS5. I'm playing on PC. And even if I was, I'm not going to duel anybody. <laughs> In your region weapon ranking, I thought you were going to make Dragon Ball its own region. But you moshed it with Kaled. I did make it my- I did make it a separate region. I just didn't add it into the video because for some reason I just didn't drag that audio clip in there. And then I just forgot about it, I guess. I talked about it. I think there's a pinned comment, right? In that video, talking about Dragon Ball. It was going to be its own section. Did you hear Ninja has cancer? I did hear about that. Yeah. Hopefully he beats it. I'm undead, what's going on, man? Hope you're doing well. Liza P... Wait, King phase 2 boss fight? So annoying. What? Did you get mod? Yeah, you got mud. We now have mods after everyone's stupid performance yesterday. I needed some mods. Is that enough? That's good enough. <laughs> That's good enough. Let's just go in there. <laughs> Not even paying attention. I don't know, one katana usually is enough for a bleed or unsheath killing. Before the bleed power sense doesn't stop and I don't know how to read clearly. I have no idea what you're trying to say. By the flame of I just summon Tish and bully him. Bully who? Ah, uh, Juicy, what's going on, man? How are things? Unprofessional, I should have pulled the video. 
I know. I know. But like, I basically, I was uploading the video and I was putting in the timestamps and I was like, where's Dragon Bar? And I was like, already uploaded. I'm like, fuck it, I don't care. I just put it in as a comment. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's gonna, man. See, I don't know if I like Stamp. Because, like, what made Stamp good in the previous games is that it had a lot of Hyper Armor. But there's lots of skills that have Hyper Armor now. Lion's Claw being one of them. It's so, like, I'm trying to, like, understand. Like, it does, like, yeet enemies up into the air. I'm not sure. Like, I think Lion's Claw even gets more stance damage, too. I'm undead, thank you for the 100 bits. Where's my stance break? Like, oh my god. <laughs> like, how many times are I going to hit this guy? What level is a sword? I don't know. I think it's plus three. Wow. As I was drinking my juice. Crouch poke. Crouch poke. Dodge. Don't fall to ledge. Clutch dodging skills. Am I gonna use Lion's Claw? No. It'll just be like too easy. I mean, like, it's not the run's gonna be hard anyway, but I wanna use like different stuff. I want to use different stuff. Should level up. That'd be a good play. Um, Vigor, some of that, that works too. Some of that, that can work. Um, go into that, that kind of works. And then that, I guess, good enough. Fantastic, awesome. Let's go kill Alexander. He's been alive way too long. He's been alive way too long. Elden Ring build that I enjoy the most? Um, I mean, I like Marika's hammer because it looks really cool. And I like hammers and I like holy damage. I like them aesthetically. They don't like me back though. Didn't they change stamp in 1.1? Um, they changed it in one patch. I don't know which one it was. I know they definitely patched or they buffed um, stamp sweep to make it really fast. Ah, uh, DCM, thank you for the sub, man. Had a prime gaming sub. That means he's a prime gamer. Chad behavior. W for DCM. Please give me mud. Somebody time him out. He's spamming in caps. Get his ass out of here. America's tits. Um, anyway, you can die now. Came from YouTube? I appreciate it, man. Anyway, rip bozo. Get him! Bro, why are these... <laughs> I hate the dragonflies, man. That is the worst. Get him! Easy game. Final boss defeated. Okay. Been using it to pick my seal. But your your seal. Thank you for the follow as well. My guy subbed before you actually um followed. What a chad. What what are you confused about in terms of your seal? Do a dragonfly only run? Dragonfly of a rune bear in terms of difficulty? Why is there even an option to time out for 10 seconds? Because if you time out for 10 seconds, it just deletes their messages as well. So if you just want to delete their messages, then you just time out for 10 seconds. That's what I'm thinking. That's how I interpret it. I've already done a Ways of Darkness Ash of War run. I think it's on my VOD channel. 
I done a playthrough of like almost every single Ash of War. We're almost gonna work on doing my Ash of War ranking video. Obviously just the Ashes of War, not like the unique skills. Even though I've done a playthrough with almost every single unique skill as well. But that'll be a separate video. Our ACO is gonna, man. How's the run been? I mean, we've killed like one boss, so it's been okay. I think you've respect me. Okay, oh, respect. Convince me to respec into the arcane and use the dragon communion seal. Yeah, I mean, it, honestly, I feel like you should build around. Like, if you know that you want to use incantations, I think you should build around your weapon. So pick a weapon that you think is going to be really cool and just build around that. So if you actually want to use bleed type weapons, then yeah, the arcane build is going to be perfectly fine for you. Um, up we go. Have you done a run with a stamp Ashes of War? I have not. That's kind of why the reason I want to use a stamp Ashes of War. Most tankiest Scarab of all time. And I doubt the requirements for the weapon, but still. <laughs> yeah, Arcane Faith is like one of- it's probably the best build type in the entire game, but it's only gonna be good to have later game. It's not gonna be that viable early on. Rusted Anchor versus the Death Ritual Spear? That's a weird comparison. Um... I probably go with the rusted anchor. Well, that death ritual spear is amazing too. Mighty dragon. Is the mimic tier for Godskin duo okay? I think the mimic tier is pretty good against most bosses, right? <laughs> Again, are you going to another Ash of War run? What? Am I gonna do another one? We'll see. There's not many that I haven't played with. I, th I haven't done like a piercing fang Ash of War run. I think I want to go bleed in Kent, then you should go ahead and do that. I just got a vaccine for the flu, and I passed out and woke up after a dream fighting demons. My dad thought I had an epilepsy attack. Damn. Did you beat the demons though? I've already done a Vare's bouquet run, yeah. Vare's bouquet is the worst weapon in the entire game. Nobody's gonna convince me otherwise. Ew, you don't even tank that? That's disgusting. Does it do more damage than like a fully charged heavy attack? It does do more damage. Or it does it do more damage. Who gets a flu vaccine in March? I don't know, it depends where you live, I guess, right? <laughs> I think it does less damage than a fully charged heavy attack. I did it! I won! We beat the game. How did I do it? Soldier's crossbow is worse. I mean, yeah, I, I suppose. But if you're talking about like, you know, melee weapons. And not random shit that nobody uses. Are you Aussie? Yeah. I'm in fact Australian. Now struggling with my dragon build against Malekith, an annoying boss. Just like run to the back and spam the projectiles. And if you're at close range, then use like dragon more or something. That'll work fine.
the cane sword versus the weathered straight sword. I think the weathered straight sword is better because it has lower requirements. <laughs> and I think it does more damage too, so. Uh, Gabriel, it's gonna, man. What armor set is my favorite? Butt naked. Um, that or, um... The Nox armor. It's pretty cool. And noob only run? I don't want to do a noob run. <laughs> Which Guts' greatsword has been the best so far? You'll find out in tomorrow's video. Or maybe the day after. Maybe the day after. What do you prefer between the Wing of Astel and the Dark Moon? I think the Dark Moon greatsword is better. I'm not doing an Elon Musk build run. <laughs> Sucks we don't have a loincloth and Elden Ring. That'd be cool. Worst Bloodborne weapon? I thoroughly despise the stake driver. I am not a fan of the stake driver. I hate it. It's not fun. It's not good. It's fucking boring. Because, <laughs> like, I always try to commit to do that charged heavy attack, and then it's just fucking shit. <laughs> it never works, and it makes me so upset. Do people celebrate Easter in Australia? Yeah. There are, like, Easter bunnies and stuff. Ah, uh, surreal. What's going on, man? How are things? A violet finger run. The violet fit What? The ringed finger? Like the hammer? I've already done that run as well. I've done like basically everything. There's too much running around in Elden Ring. That's what happens in an open world game, I guess. Is Godfrey's icon better than Warrior's Jar Shard for Wild Strikes? Godfrey's icon doesn't work with Wild Strikes. Because it's not a fully charged skill. You can just like hold on to it. <laughs> if you're going to use Wild Strikes, just go with like the Spear Talisman and Shard of Alexander. There you go. Then you're good. Are bows unviable because of the scaling? Yeah. They get doo-doo scalings and they get doo-doo damage. Like, they can be nice to proc status effects, and they can make the game a bit easier. Because obviously it's a projectile attack that doesn't consume any FP. But like, they just do such bad damage that it's like boring as fuck. What am I doing? I don't need to go to EG, do I? No. Ah, uh, Dorian, what's going on, man? Yeah, I've basically done a run with like everything. Giant Hunt or Lion's Claw? I... Uh, I think Lion's Claw is like easier to use, but I think Giant Hunt performs better. But only if you're using like a larger weapon. Otherwise the range is pretty bad. Because like Giant Hunt can trivialize a lot of encounters. It consumes less FP than Lion's Claw. It's a quicker animation. It can do more damage because, you know, it's piercing damage as well. Um, and it has like a cool crouching animation to where like a lot of attacks can go over your head. Um, but Lion's Claw gets infinite hyper armor. So like you're never going to get staggered out of Lion's Claw where you can get staggered out of Giant's Hunt. You, it won't happen often, but it, you can. And Lion's Claw does go further too. Been watching your vids, first time catching you live. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, Mankey. Burst, crossbar run. I did a crossbar run like three days ago. <laughs> like, just before the marathon, I did a crossbar run. Best power stance moveset is the hammer or the axe? You're lying. <laughs> You're lying to me. That's literally the worst one. Which weapon type has been the most engaging, fun to play with? Weapon type? Ugh, I know, they kind of all play the same. 
mean, quick weapons can be like less frustrating because against certain bosses that attack really quickly, having like a quicker animation is always nice. But then having like larger weapons to stagger enemies is fun too. I don't know. There's that, not really a best in my opinion. I don't really have like a favorite. <sighs> best power sense is straight sword. I think curve swords are the best, but straight swords are good too. An iron ball run? I'm not gonna do an iron ball run. I mean, I've technically done plenty of iron ball runs. I did like a no hit run with the iron balls. Because it's like literally the metal. You know what I will do? Let's go to burn anal and go buy some stuff. Is ranking the power stance movesets a good video? I've already done that. Wait, I think I did a power stance tier list. I think I did a power stance moveset tier list, and that was like. Over a year ago. It's probably different now. When I try that Nox Flowing Hammer, it looks fun to use. It's okay. It's okay. This guy doesn't sell Stamp Sweep. Where do you get Stamp Sweep from? I buy a Warcry. Oh, gotta get the, um... The thingy thing. What's the... Th I'm forgetting. The Wet Blade. That's the one. Yeah, Nox Flowing Hammer does do doo-doo damage. The Nox Flowing Sword just outclasses it because it literally gets more stance damage in a quicker animation. And the damage is, like, very similar. And I think it consumes less FP, too. And I think the range is about the same. I don't know why the Hammer gets less stance damage than a Curve Sword. Invisible Teardrop Scarab. Oh, that one. Mmm. Yes. Do you mean Iron Ball Star Fist for the Hitless Runs? And I used Iron Ball Start to Finish here. Because you, when you're doing like a no hit run, you only get like enough smithing materials to upgrade one weapon. Um, I did a level one no hit run and I actually used... The um, Star Fist in that one. I used like the Serpent Hunter, then I switched to the Star Fist. How did you miss? That wasn't even close. Literally not even close. And the Crescent Moon X drop. Hell yeah. I'm confusing myself. What am I doing now? Beach. Nox weapons deserve better. If the Nox weapons, they just need to be buffed. If they could just be buffed, they would be, like, a lot better. But you can't buff them. They're just, like, strength and dexterity weapons that get pretty poor scalings and pretty poor damage. And you just can't buff them. Have you considered dual wielding these nuts? No. Rusted Anchor with Poison is crazy. I mean, like, Poison is not that good, though. Go use Rusted Anchor with, like, a Cold Infusion. That's better. Mm-mm, mm-mm. If you want a Poise Break with a Noxus Flowing Hammer, then you could just use the, um... The Charged Heavy Attack. It gets way more stance damage than the Weapon Skill. Um, you DM'd me. I'm streaming. <laughs> Is it important? I'm one hour late to the nuts ER run. This is terrible. How could you? All unique weapons that do entire physical damage. Hand of Millennia, Bloodhound Fang should be buffable. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> there might be some balancing issues there. Like I can't imagine like Hand of Millennia with Blood Flame Blade. <laughs> that actually be pretty good. <laughs> Um, speaking of Frost, I seen a dude doing a Frost resetting build. 
Look, if people like to do a Frost re a resetting build because they find it fun, let them do it. It's just, like, not optimal. And, like, there might be some instances where it can be good. Like, obviously, like, the, the fastest ways that you can proc Frost in this game would either be the Death's Poker weapon skill R1, um, or is it more Ice Storm? So you could probably actually have somewhat of a viable Frost resetting build with those things. And it could be pretty good. But like for me, I would never do it. Because <laughs> you're, you're specking into something and have to switch to fire every single time that you do it to reset it. And it's just going to take longer the second time and the third time. And like Bleed does the exact same thing but just better. And like Frost already debuffs enemies. So just let the, let the debuff wear out. And just proc it again. And in the meantime, you've just been doing 20% more damage. It's just better. Because I'm pretty sure Frost against bosses does... Like... I think it's less than 10% damage against the boss. I think it's like 8% damage or some shit. So what would you rather, a 20% debuff for 20 seconds, or to get rid of that debuff and just try and proc Frost again to do 8% damage, or whatever, 10%, whatever it is. Should occult weapons be buffable? Um, no. I can't imagine, like, you know, an occult-infused weapon that's getting, like, over 100 bleed, and then also buffing it with Blood Flame Blade. That'd be kind of stupid. One thing that I would like is that if weapon buffs actually scaled off incan scaling compared to like the faith stat. Which is stupid. I don't know why that's a thing. Can I not get hit by every single projectile? Blood loss is 10%, so that 8% procs faster than bleed is not that bad. Another thing that you got to keep in mind as well. Like, if you're procking frost at a distance, if you're doing it at a distance, then it's fine. Why did I jump down? Um, but... When you're procking bleed, you don't have to do anything else to reset it. It resets by itself, right? And you have things like the Lord of Blood Exaltation and the White Mask. So every single time that you do proc bleed, you're getting a boost to damage as well. Which that, you're getting like 30% damage, which is kind of like having a frost debuff. So for that playstyle, it's way easier to do it... Way easier to do it with bleed, because you could just proc bleed with like so many sources pretty quickly. Whereas... Oh, I'm so dead. Um, if you're using frost, you have to use like very specific builds. It's like, is it inconvenient in my opinion? Um, probably a good thing that I died, because I would like to go switch up. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna have two greatswords. And we're gonna switch back and forth. Let's go get a second one. With the good old cheat engine. God says greatsword is awesome, but for some reason the Ash War doesn't get hype armor since the last patch. Yes, I don't know why that is, but... Yeah, the God Slayer's Greatsword was like a top 15 weapon in my opinion, and it kind of dropped down to like a top 30 weapon. Because it doesn't get hyper armor. I recently learned that you can buff the Blood Town Fang. <laughs> Just learned that. It's one of the reasons as to why it's amazing. It's at plus 3 right now, right? We're going to have one stamp upward cut and stamp sweep. That's what we're doing. That's the strategy. And then we can switch back and forth. Hell yeah. So now we can really find out which one's better. I think stamp sweep is going to get the better one. I think it's a faster animation and actually might end up doing more damage. But upward cut can like yeet enemies to the sky. I thought all somber weapons were unbuffable. Not all of them. I think the Bloodhound Fang is the only one, right? I'm forgetting. Frost is cooler. That's valid. That's valid. 
Frost doesn't really need an Exaltation Talisman because it already debuffs enemies by 20%. I think that's the reason behind it. Um, but it would have been nice if there was like a helmet, like you have with the Mushroom Crown or the White Mask for a Frost. That would have been cool. Blade's Y-Hander run? Oh, can I stop? Bro, this is like getting hit by everything run. Honestly. I haven't dodged a single thing this entire playthrough. Some of us just started the game, don't laugh. Am I just a bully? I wasn't laughing at someone that just played the game. What? What keyboard do I use? I use some like shitty ass Razer keyboard. I want to get like another one. But I don't play on my keyboards. So I don't really care much. I play on sometimes. Not on these games though. <laughs> Not these games. The trolls can be buffed, but the trolls is a um requires smithing stones. Nice. Wait. Can be buffed. Does this actually like eat them away? It also knocks them back too. That did 41. That was less damage. Four hundred and sixteen. What FromSoft boss do you hate the most? Probably Mikalash. It's very similar damage, but it gets more. Oh, the Varys bouquet can get buffed, of course. How could I forget about the Varys bouquet? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Because they buffed the speed of that. Stamp sweep used to be like twice as slow. It used to be like completely dog shit. I probably like upward cut better. I don't know. We'll play around with it more. Um, if you sucked in- wait. If I sucked at these games, what weapon would I use to survive? Or sucked into these games, what weapon would I use? If I was sucked into Elden Ring, I would use the Bolt of Grand Sax. I can just sit at the back. Sit on rooftops and then snipe enemies at a distance. Pretty easy stuff. That'll be my weapon to use. Um, offer bell bearing. Imagine if Vari's bouquet was unbuffable, then it'd be even worse. <laughs> but it still sucks. This is an AK-47. True. True. Stamp sweep has to hit twice to get similar damage. That is true. That is true. Um, okay. What should we kill now? Let's go kill a dog. Actually, no. Let's go grab... Let's go grab the gold scarab talisman. Is the guts' greatsword good? Yes. The guts' greatsword is amazing. I think it's the best infusible weapon in the entire game. It gets like amazing range, amazing damage, and colossal swords get good movesets and really good Ash of War options. So you can infuse them with plenty of good weapon skills. And you get it pretty early on as well. And the requirements aren't that high compared to other larger weapons, but it does weigh a lot. Mm -mm, mm -mm. A cold flambeau is re repeating a thrust for fast blade procs. Or you can put a repeating thrust on a greatsword? Is it like a slower animation if you put repeating thrust on a greatsword, or is it the same speed? Falling Star Beast Door is underrated. <laughs> um. Yeah. We're gonna add towards the challenge run and do this while. Scarlet rotted clearly. I missed my jump, but that's fine. Um, I prefer his Y because of the poke. That's valid. That's valid. But in a game with L2 spam, I think Great Soldiers is going to be better. Are you doing the ranking after the marathon? Yeah, we're going to do a Guts' Great Sword ranking video. Was that sarcasm? 
No, the Falling Star Beach Door is really good. The funny thing is, the Falling Star Beach Door used to be the best weapon in the entire game. So, <laughs> it's just funny how we've gone full circle. From like, it would be like an amazing weapon. It got nerfed kind of to the ground and people started to hate it. But now it's like underrated again. Good stuff. That's why I'm laughing. But yeah, once upon a time, the Falling Star Beast Jaw was the best weapon in the entire game. Probably that one, or that one in the Sword of Night and Flame. Those two would just... Out of this world. Big boy damage. I hate this guy. Didn't it be so nice if we had, like, unique power stance and combos? Imagine if you could power stance the clean rod weapons, right? And actually get that cool blocking animation. Imagine that. Imagine if we could do like what they do. Power stance, the thrusting sword, and the spear. And get some cool, unique power stancing combo. Same thing with like the Nox weapons. If you could power stance the Nox weapons, that would be nice. And have like a unique combo. That's what this game is lacking, this unique movesets. It doesn't have enough. Should have been a paired weapon? That could work too. Rivers of Blood got me through my first playthrough. All I'm imagining is how the PvPers will cry about it. True. Is Sonaf in my top 5? I think Sonaf is top 5, yeah. I mean, I think I put it in my top 5 in my recent video, right? Funny thing, if you guys didn't know, Rivers of Blood was actually one of the worst weapons in the entire game. When the game first came out. Um, it was bugged to where it just didn't actually get... The arcane scaling just wasn't working, so it wasn't getting good damage or blood loss build up. A lot of weapons like that were just broken. I think even the Eleonora's pole blade was like the same thing. You can actually um, see me talking about it. Oh fuck. Hold up. Wait a second buddy. And one of my first like videos that I've made right? Um, with my- Oh my god! Stop being bad at the game! I can't do anything. This person's blocking and I can't hit them. <laughs> I suck. Wait, can I put on some armor? They didn't fix it until like a month after the game, yeah. I think like all arcane weapons or like some of the arcane weapons were just bugged. Ah, nuke, what's going on, man? Dragon hammers are so fun in PvP. Yeah, all the power sensing weapons that Dark Souls 3 has are just really good. I removed the armor set because I wanted to see my beautiful face, okay? I worked very hard on creating this character. He looks very pretty. I'm not gonna cover up my beautiful head. And then Rivers of Blood was OP. Yeah, Rivers of Blood was really good. It wasn't that... I didn't ever think that Rivers of Blood was the best weapon in the entire game. Um, it was just very easy to use. And it's like it got a lot of play in... PvP. Don't block. Don't block. That's what I'm talking about. Easy game. <laughs> Okay, let's see if this performs a bit better. Ew! This thing sucks. It does less stance damage? 
Hey, yo, stamp sweep is bad. I think it consumes more stamina too. Hmm. Fascinating. Stamp sweep is bad. Hell yeah. Okay, now we can go kill a dog. Why do you cheat in two guts as greatswords? For the reason that I mentioned and for the obvious reason that I want to test them out. Different skills at the same time. Personally enjoyed Moonvale over Rivers of Blood. Yeah, Moonvale was... yeah. Arguably better at the time as well. I wasn't here. Um, well, yeah, I want to test out multiple skills. So, that's why. I want to make everyone know that Rusty puts square off under no skill. <laughs> Leave Rusty alone. He doesn't know, okay? Doesn't know the power of square off. It's really good stuff. Starting a new game plus, and I want to combo with the Rivers of Blood and the Dragon Communion. Um, is it a good combo, going Arcane? It's an okay combo, but like, the thing is the... I don't think... The Rivers of Blood gets that good of an Arcane scaling, right? And if you're gonna go with an Arcane build... And use the spells, you're gonna go have to spec into a little bit of Faith. Whereas Rivers of Blood is gonna require you to spec into Dexterity as well. Is it B scaling? Okay, never mind. Um, I think you're just better off going with a weapon that has, um, passive bleed and can be infused. And just make it a cult infused. Because that way you don't have to spec into strength or dexterity. You can just go all into faith, or all into, um, arcane. And it could be better. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. So if you put like Nagakiba or like Uchigatana with double slash with an occult infusion, it'd probably perform better. Then the rivers of blood. But yeah, I recommend just going with either a katana that can be infused, a scavenger's curve sword, cross naginata. Those are some of your best ones. And just make them occult infused. I mean it's still gonna work perfectly fine. It's gonna be viable if you go with the rivers of blood. But it's probably not optimal. Ironically, Moog is weak to blood, but he's 80% resist to fire? Yeah. I mean, the thing is, what they were going for, at least what I think they were going for, is that every single time that you proc bleed on Moog, or if he procs bleed on you, he actually gets buffed, because he has, like, the Lord of Blood Exaltation equipped. He has that same effect. So when you proc bleed on him, he actually gets more damage. But the thing is, he's, like, that weak to bleed, and bleed is that good in this game. That it's... <laughs> it doesn't make a difference. How many of the endings have you done? I think I've done the, all of the endings. I don't know. I like to think that I've done all the endings. Actually, probably not, actually. I don't know. Might be some, like, weird ending that I haven't done. Like the Dung Eater ending or some shit. Oh, that's... My own fault, honestly. I knew he was going to do the follow-up. I just thought it was going to come out a bit slower for some reason. Will I ever do a viewer run? Like, co-op with chat. Just like a regular co-op run? Huh? Um, it's not, in, it's not plans, no. <laughs> I don't think I will. Why is that? Is this going to be like a regular run or is like some challenge run or something? I don't know. What do you mean? I did a blood infusion because I thought that blood build up would be cool. It is cool. I wish the Vike spear was better. Yeah, same. The double hit of sweep with bleed. Sounds disgusting. 
Hmm. Stam sweep with blood loss build up. You know, we'll go after we're done. We'll go get the black wet blade. And we'll go make it blood infused and see how it performs. Poking attack. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way that missed. Um, what's this ash? It's upward cut. <laughs> Stamp upward cut. Choke we? Yeah. It can't be a Yui stream without a choke. How much did they nerf Vike Spear? They nerfed the Vike Spear? If anything, they probably would have nerfed it for PvP and it probably would have just been madness build up, right? I don't know. I don't think they nerfed it. Okay, can I not die? <laughs> it's gonna be fine. I don't need to use the Ash of War. I don't know why I'm spamming him. I'm so used to doing Ash of War runs. But it's doing a regular ass playthrough, it's fine. Charged heavy attack instead. Wait, it's 730 damage. Okay, yeah. So upward cut does do more stance damage or more damage than the charged heavy attack. And I do have the axe talisman on as well. Both of these talismans are giving me plus 10% damage. But if I put on the spiked cracked tier, it could probably be doing even more damage. Um, 18. Vigor. Gonna use Royal Knight Resolve? No. Why not? Because I don't want to. <laughs> it doesn't interest me. I'm not gonna use Lion's Claw, no. I wanna use like the stuff that I don't really use much. I'm not trying to do like a meta run, like we're using a greatsword, like... <laughs> it's not gonna be a challenging playthrough to where I need to use the best stuff. I might as well, like since I'm doing this run... I might as well just spend the time actually like testing out different weapon skills that I kind of want to gain more knowledge on, you know? Like I already know how good Royal Knight Resolve and Lion's Claw is, you know? I don't need to do a playthrough of that. There is no need. The best weapon was the Star Fist. Yeah, the Star Fist is amazing. Oh, that's another weapon. That has bleed too. Yeah, you could use a Star Fist with an occult build. With Arcane. Hold up. You know what I should have done? Not that. I should have just hit him off. Because now I only have three minutes to kill this boss. <laughs> is Ordovis' greatsword good? Yes, it's amazing. If you've checked out my videos, you'll know how much I like that weapon. Really good stuff. You gotta check out my top 10 somber weapon video. Um, or you could check out my um, top 5 poise breaking builds. <laughs> Shit's really good. Spinning weapon versus spinning chain? Um, probably spinning weapon? Ah, uh, sub, thank you for the sub. Wait, is that Ribbit? Ribbit, thank you for the sub. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. W's for Ribbit. Absolute chat behavior. Why are you bullying me? Or chat its behavior. R1, R1, R1. I think spinning chain is more useful than spinning weapon. If it was an Ash of War. 
Um, I think spinning weapon, I wouldn't really use it much because spinning strikes kind of just exists and that does the same thing but just better. In my opinion. But spinning weapon is still really good though. It's probably like less risky because you can just get a good chunk damage. Slurious Trio would probably be my top 10 if the deeper depths was available sooner. Yeah, or if like, you know, the um, the Valiant Gargoyles wasn't a dog shit ass boss fight. Um, yeah, Slurious Trio is amazing though. I think all Davis is the better. Um, the better crucible weapon, this game is in my opinion. Garbage. You can just beat it by pressing R1 over and over. <laughs> this game's full of R1 spam. Terrible. Do you ever play any games that aren't FromSoft? No. I've made it that I don't want to touch any game unless FromSoft makes it. I was playing Destiny this morning. <laughs> I was like laying down in bed playing Destiny. On my PlayStation portal. Because it's very convenient. And I'm lazy. Okay, what's everyone's favorite boss cutscene in this game? Wild Strikes destroys Renala? Yeah, Wild Strikes just destroys a lot of things. Into any competitive games? No. No. R1, R1, R1. Upward cut. Malekith? Yeah, I agree. Don't! Bro, that is like spawned in and instantly, instantly got me. Whee! Nice. That was good. I want to see Renala fly. I mean, I wanted to make her fly, but... You know. She got staggered and then she had high armor. So she didn't fly. I should have made her fly. Elden Beast? That's a good one too. Where did he flee? My Moog, his voice actor, is unintentionally funny. <laughs> I think, yeah. I think Malekith has the best second phase transition. Like, the animation is like super clean. Super clean. Scene where Godric holds Morgoth? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Wait, like Godfrey. Yeah, not Godric. That one's a good one too. Um, let's go kill Radan. Right? True? Real? Yes? Yes. Let's go use Warcry. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a fan of Rykard's cutscene. There, I said it. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Now, you know what? I don't mind the cutscene. I just don't like his voice acting. It sounds stupid. The gods together. Like, why? <laughs> It was like the one like cutscene that really like broke my immersion. Like that one and the horror loot cutscene, those two things just straight up just broke my immersion. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like nobody's actually gonna say, now I fight as horror loot, warrior. Terrible line. <laughs> Terrible line. Um, Rykard voice. It just sounds like I when I hear the voice. Pack your bags. <laughs> Look, when I hear Rykard's voice, I just picture someone just making that voice. I don't actually picture a snake. I don't like see it. I just like, I just, you know what I'm saying? I can just automatically see someone like in a booth with a microphone, just like, Dang it, ah. It's like, I could make that voice. Anyone can make that voice. Like, <laughs> it just sounds silly. I don't know, dude. I mean, it's funny and all, but <laughs> I don't know. Are you into any conspiracy theories? No. <laughs> the most meme voice? 
I guess it's valid. I respect you so much more now. I'm glad somebody agrees with me. As soon as you said the horror loot warrior, my opinion on the game just dropped a nut. <laughs> it was just like, come on now. Like who wrote that? It's like, yeah, this is a fire ass bar. This line is definitely going to be in the game. Now I fight as horror loot. <laughs> That's great. Kind of sound like he just woke up. I mean, he probably did just wake up, right? He's probably been in slumber for a long time. It probably sounded cooler in Japanese. That's true. That's true. I binge watch Yui and Jumpers Jump. I don't know who Jumpers Jump is. But it sounds cool. What's the heavy attack like? Mm, do I have the spiked crack to run? Okay, cool. Okay, you're gonna stay still, and you're gonna let me hit you. I had the good opening and everything. Well, that's gonna hurt. I didn't die! Nice. Come on, buddy. That's not gonna hit me, right? No, we're good. Hmm. I mean, it'd probably be, like, a lot better. If it, like, you know... Had a higher upgraded weapon, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. But, I don't know. I don't really care much for those weapon skills. I'm not, like, a war cry. I don't know. I think they're probably a lot better in PvP. But they do serve as like a knife buff though, you can just get more damage. And you can just spam your light attacks. But with how like high damaging a lot of weapon skills can be in this game, there's not much, not much of a point to use it. It is whiffed. <laughs> it definitely sucks. I wonder what's like with Barbaric Roll. Cause like Warcry is good with things like Halberds, right? It's good with a Halberd. I feel like Godfrey is my favorite fight in the game, and the fact that he made horror loot thing hurts my soul. <laughs> Are you still like- I think he's still number two for me. I like the fight, it's really good. It's not that it sounds cooler in Japanese, it's because you don't understand Japanese. It sounds not as cringe. That's valid. <laughs> now I fight as the guy from the opening cutscene. <laughs> Now I fight as Horalu. <laughs> Just but you had two health bars. How are you missing? I take it back. This happens bad. Do you watch anime with subs or a dub? Um, it depends, I guess. <laughs> I mean, for the most part, I just watch it subbed because, you know, the dub is, like, always behind. Or, like, sometimes if I watch a dub, and if it sucks, then I just watch the sub. But sometimes a dub can be pretty decent. Nice, poise break. You a fan of God of War? Yes. <laughs> As Yui Lu. The intro scene to Godfrey was nice. Yeah, it was really good. Really good stuff. Okay. Regular charged heavy attacks are so much better. Quicker animation and they can seem like less stamina. How do I keep missing? Mm. 
No, come back. Oh my god. Can I get a poise break, please? Surely now I get a poise break. Easy game. GG. Well played, Godfrey. Okay, so now we know that Warcry sucks with uh, Colossal Swords. Terrible. I hate Morgoth. He's bullshit to the max. Come on now. Morgoth's a great fight. Best Souls streamer for real. True. Real. Malekith asks why you want Destined Death when he dies. Willsless Tarnished, why covet Destined Death to kill what? In that line, he sounds genuinely confused. What do we need Destined Death for? Is it to kill a god? I don't know. Now I return to a man to when I... <laughs> when a crown was warranted with strength. Prepare yourself, warrior. That sounds cooler, yeah. Aldridge was peak voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> the Baki is dub make me sick. I haven't seen Baki. I have not seen it. What happened to Alexander? Where did he go? Cowboy Beep Up dub is goaded? Yeah, that one's pretty good. Um, Code Geass dub is pretty good too. And there was like another one that I'm thinking of, but I'm forgetting. Um, Strength. Well, chat. Strength it is. I said after Radon. So here you go. The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Okay. Thank you. Morgan is harder than Mogan Millennia to me. Really? Why does sometimes like the chat just... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's go to the place that is known as the Altus Plateau. Chad had a fucking stroke. I don't. <laughs> I don't know, like, why that happens. And I'm not gonna bother trying to fix it because every single time that I try to fix something, I just make it worse. So we're not gonna do that. It lets us burn the Erd tree. Okay. I feel like the destined death thing came out of nowhere. We're asked to burn the tree. All of a sudden, people talking about destined death got me confused. Af. So where did it actually come from? Was you it like, hey, look, you so need shit in the lands between can actually die. That's I don't know. the whole point of the game. The rune of death is part of the Elden Ring. You need to mend the Elden Ring. Okay, the rune of death. Okay. Understandable. So the objective is to get it. So it wasn't necessarily- I think the burning of the Erd tree just came because we noticed that the thorns were blocking the way. And we're like, hey look, we need to set this bitch alight. There's no other way in. But how did everybody else go in? How did they get inside the Erd tree? If it was blocked off? Was it with the- I don't know. I have no idea. They were trapped in there? They don't. They got locked in. Laindle is full of ash suggesting that the Erd tree has been burned many times before. Never rate again? What am I not rating? I'm confused. I'm a bit confused about the whole law. Honestly, same. All sorceries ranked when? I'll do a sorcery ranking like somewhat closer towards the release date. Bro said Malekith's sword is worse than the great sword. Me? I said that? I don't remember saying that, but I agree with that take, yeah.
That is, in fact, the correct one. Ah, uh, Bifrost. It's gone, man. How are things? What do you mean, what the fuck? Does anybody actually think Malika's Black Blade is better than the Guts' Greatsword? I don't think, I don't know. <laughs> it gets like less range, you get less damage, you get split damage, you get holy damage on top of that. It, F, well, the weapon skill consumes 40 FP. It has a longer animation, you're gonna get trade out every single time that you use it. Um, and it's only going to be good against bosses that have large amounts of health. Like, it's really good. Like, it can fuck up and shred all, like, New Game Plus bosses. But, like, you're comparing it to, like, the Guts' Greatsword, you know? Like... <laughs> Dying of blood loss on PvE feels humil humility. <laughs> I can't remember when I died to blood loss in PvE. Maybe in Moog. Actually, I've died to Moog before. Look, I think that Malachus is like a very solid high A2 weapon. High A2. I mean, it looks really cool as well. I'll give you that. It is, does get some like decent AR because you do get like a B scaling in both strength and faith, but... I don't know. I'd say it's like a top 3 colossal sword in the game. <sighs> My opinion on the winged scythe, I don't like the winged scythe because Loretta Slash already exists as an Ash of War and you could put that on like a regular scythe with a better infusion with better damage. Um, it's good in PvP though. Because obviously it can stop people from healing, so I guess like it's the its only use. It's more of a PvP weapon. You don't need the Rune of Death to burn the Earth Tree, but you do need it to kill the Elden Beast. So like, do we just- because we don't really do anything in particular to kill the Elden Beast. Like, we don't do like a Death Rune attack or some shit, right? We just have it equipped and that just gives us like a passive boost or a passive buff to kill the Elden Beast. Is that what it is? Rani took the Rune of Death from the ring and used it to kill Godwin. Then Marika tasked Gurank Malekith to retrieve it. That's why he wants Death Root. That doesn't explain why he wants Death Root. What? <laughs> it's my favorite movie of all time? I don't have one. How do you think it does more damage? You use both of the same stats. Malekith's is better. Well, like, if you're using both of the same stats, <laughs> they, both don't re they both don't require the same build. Like, Malekith's is going to be good with, like, a Faith... And, um, strength build, whereas the Guts as Greatsword is obviously going to be dependent on your infusion, which is most likely that it's going to go all into strength. Um, and you can infuse it and buff it, so it can just get even more damage than that. And also, this number right here, the weapon number, this is not like a good indication on how much damage that you're actually doing, because split damage can exist and that can kind of skew your damage numbers. The death rot came from Godwin's body. Oh, okay. Death roots are the shard of the rune of death. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So is Garank Malekith? Yes, he is. Wing Scythe has good staggering potential. Yeah, it's, it's pretty decent. Like, it's not the worst weapon skill to have, but like Loretta Slash is essentially the same thing. You could put Loretta Slash on like the Grave Scythe. And, I don't know, you could put it, like, with a Frost Infusion if you wanted to, and then you can get Frost and Bleed and potentially just more damage. Right? So... That's the way I see it. Mm -mm. Destin Death isn't equipped by you, you've unleashed it on the world, unlike Rani who specifically took a piece to slay Godwin's soul. When you kill Malekith, you unleash it everywhere. Okay. And that allows us to kill the gods. Interesting. Give me a law reason why the Frost Dragon is 80% resist to slash. <laughs> because ice can bind with hard armor means slash resist. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> I 
Ice is slippery. <laughs> Um, okay. As I've like some shitty upgraded weapon. After this, we're gonna get a pretty decently leveled weapon. Should be fine. Um, Ash of War. Let's go back to Stamp Upward Cut. War Cry sucks. Where do I get, um, Barbaric Raw from? Does anybody know? Barbaric Raw. I have a Katana IRL. Nice. I doubted you, but you were right on Marika's Hammer. I use it for co-op on my Paladin build. It's good stuff. It is good stuff. Like, basically, the way to look at Marika's Hammer is that it's like Lion's Claw, but it does it in an AoE instead. Obviously, it's going to be, like, a bit longer of an animation, and it's on a hammer. But, like, it's just a Lion's Claw, but with an, an AoE attack. If you actually hit directly with Marika's Hammer weapon skill, it actually does more stance damage than Lion's Claw on a Colossal Sword. So it could actually be even better. If you don't hit with it directly, then it's going to be like less stance damage, but it still like knocks enemies up into the air. And it's pretty good. Pretty good. What's the name of the god that rules the lands between? I don't know. I'm scarab at the bottom of uh, before the ruin... Strain Precipice. Okay. Cool. Wait, is it like outside of that area? Like, is it at like the lake? Like at the start of Leonia? Or is it like a bit into like the ruined Strain Precipice? Is it of that exploding scarab? Or is there a scarab in the lake? Godwin's soul is dead, but his body isn't. Rani's body is dead, but her soul isn't. That's why Godwin's corpse is all corrupted. The god who rules the lands between is Marika? Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> Yeet! Do you think the Souls games are the GOAT? I mean, I like them the best, so yeah. Also say the Outer Gods. It's in a lake near the Grace, cool. Well, Upward Cut makes quick work of these types of guys. Where should I start with One Piece? At the beginning, I guess? Episode 1? <laughs> That's where I guess you should start. <laughs> he got whooped, yeah. I should have used it. I should have used Stamp Sweep as well. To compare. Have you played Hollow Knight? Yes, I have. A long time ago, but yeah, really good game. Really good game. Surely Silk Song comes out soon, right? Maybe tomorrow it's gonna come out. Surely tomorrow. The Golden Order is the main outer god. I wish streamers made their characters cute for once. Are you talking shit about the way my character looks? Look at this guy's face and tell me that it's not cute as fuck. I made him just like me for real. Silk Song is the new Last Guardian. Mm, you're probably better off just going with the manga, honestly. Like, the anime pacing is pretty whack. For One Piece. And with how, like, long that it is, you're gonna take forever. To try and get through it. I mean, I watched the anime, but that was, like, back when it had 600 episodes. Which, 600 is still a lot, but... <laughs> now we're at 1,000 episodes. So... If I were to start One Piece nowadays, I would just read it. Honestly. Read the manga, watch the highlights for the anime. That's a good way of putting it, yeah. Like, some of the fight scenes, you can go watch the anime. Because, yeah. Because the music can be pretty good, too. And some of the animations are really nice, but... Some of the episodes are just an absolute snooze fest. And this did not need to be that bad. Um, anyway... Let's go upgrade my weapon. 
Wait, being that I'm using two, I have to get... Oh, fuck. I didn't think this through. <laughs> Wait, I don't need to level up two. It's fine. Here goes. We're not using... We're not going to compare them anymore. We'll just level up the one. Could never get into anime. Never liked the art style. That's fine. That's valid. The Greater Will commends the Elden Beast. The Golden Order is commanded by Marika. The Two Fingers is not a god. I need to buy some smithing stones. Spent two hours yesterday trying to make... I don't know what that is. As a person from The Walking Dead and Dark Souls 3. But the character creation doesn't have dreads. Yeah. Skill issue, I guess. Skill issue, I guess. Like I need five of these and then I need 12 of those. Good math, Yui. I think a lot will be revealed lore-wise in the DLC. I mean, you'd think, right? I haven't been, like, too much into lore, but from what I've, like, known from playing the DLCs in the past, they tend to just leave you with more questions than answers, honestly. <laughs> so they might... They will probably might answer a few of them, but they're just gonna leave you with more questions. I feel like they might take, like, two, like, major topics and answer the questions of those major topics, and then just ignore the rest. Um, that's what I think. <laughs> anyway, plus 13 greatsword. I can get as a plus 14 if I acquire one more smithing five. Um. Fuck, let's go to the Salia tunnel. Wait, actually, no, we wanted to go grab... Hold up. I'm confused. Where am I going? This way is the fast way, cool. I just want to know who the lion dude is. Why call it? I don't know. Celia, Celia, who fucking cares? <laughs> uh, tell me what's going on, man. For the One Piece animators, yeah. Japanese working conditions, just, they just do not sound fun. <laughs> they did not sound fun. The best infusions for the washing pole in Dark Souls 3? I think it's best refined. I forget. You probably have to look it up. I think it's best refined, though. With a quality build. Can I get the talisman from the demi-human? I did have it, and I just didn't put it on. I don't need to talk to them. Mesmer is using what appears to be a dragon communion or blood flame. I th it looks different to those things, because I was looking at it again. After like the first time, and I was like, it doesn't look like blood flame. Because I didn't see fire. Nor blood. <laughs> it was red though. It was like some weird effect, so it's probably like a different type of spells. It's probably a new type. Who knows what it's gonna be. It looks closer to destined death than it did blood flame though. But he does get like a fire attack. With his, like, his spear and stuff, so it's gonna be some type of fire effect. Wait, did I miss it? Wait, which, where's the scarab again? There it is. Barbaric Raw has been acquired. Can I not die here, please? Kill the stupid bat! There we go. I won! Okay, let's go fight the Draconic Tree Sentinel. Let's go do that. Played Baldur's Gate 3? I have not played Baldur's Gate 3. What's the R2 with Warcry? Uh, with Warcry, it does that stupid charging attack. You, like, run forward. It's kind of similar to, like, the Straight Sword. But just, like, a slower version. It's kind of shit. Um, what's it like with Barbaric Roll, though? That's better. I like that better. I don't like that though. It's the same as a straight sword, but it's just like slower. Um, okay. 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 
Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna go to the underground and get the black wet blade, and we're gonna try and make it um, bleed infused and see. And see if Barbaric Raw and Stamp Sweep actually proc bleed pretty quickly. Might be useful. The Lance Warcry slaps, yeah. The Great Spears and Halberds with Warcry or Braggart's Raw. 10 out of 10. A1. Okay. I jumped off the wrong ledge. That's what I get. I had chicken palm for dinner today. She was smacking. Nice. Good job. Top 10 most intelligent Yui moments. I'm just so smart. How do I do it? Phantom Slash would go crazy on this weapon. You can't put Phantom Slash on a Colossal Sword though. But... Unless you're asking if it could, then yeah, I agree. Is this the one that he uses on every character? What? What does that what does that question mean? I don't think Mesma will be bad at all somehow, or like him as like a character. He's don't think he's gonna be a bad guy. Probably not. Hyped for the Rune Bear spells. There's so much stuff. That it's so good. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. I'm so hyped for everything. I just want all of it. Why isn't there a Rune Bear Spirit Ash? Probably for obvious reasons, I guess. Like, <laughs> I think we'll just fuck up every boss. Like, tank so many attacks, just move at insane speeds. Hopefully, new weapon types. Well, there's gonna be eight new weapon types. That's what they say. That's what Michael Zaki said. The Rune Bear could definitely be the Elden Lord, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. I got nine characters ready? Yeah, I gotta go make... I gotta go make my characters ready. I prefer to make a new account because this account's fucking banned. Or like, temporarily banned. And it's not gonna get unbanned until after the DLC gets released. So if I wanna play online and do PvP, I'm gonna have to make a new account. Why isn't there a Placid Dusax or Millennia Spirit Ash? I don't know. I haven't even fucking been online in like months in this game, but somehow I'm fucking banned. When I went online just like one time by accident, I wasn't didn't have like cheat engine on or anything. I just opened up the game in online mode and oh, you're banned. I'm like what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't do nothing wrong. Isn't it been 180 days? Yeah. The first time I got banned is when it was like the day after I did like the first person mod. I did it offline and everything and then I got fucking banned for it the next day. <laughs> you is a criminal. Didn't peg you as a bad egg. I've done nothing wrong. The haters, yeah. The early versions of Rune Bears had a chance to drop Dragon Hearts. That's cool. Hi, Brahma. Nice. That was cool. That guy needs to level up his Vigor. What an idiot. Imagine not having much Vigor. What a clown. Got a stupid build. She looks very viable. I mean, all the raw-based weapon skills are good in PvP. Um, because they get really good hyper armor. And ever since the poise changes, right? It's just going to be a lot more useful. Um, so they're pretty good in that setting. I don't know about PvE, though. 
We'll see. It just depends on how much poise damage it does do. Because you get caught in that long animation, and against enemies that don't get stun locked, probably not the best thing to have. Probably not the best thing. And let's go grab the Black Wet Blade. Do you like X-Men 97? No. I hate X-Men 97. I haven't seen it. When is the Wolverine game coming out? Should it look fire? Probably like sometime next year, honestly. Because that shit got like announced the same time that Spider-Man 2 got announced, right? Is it also being made by Insomniac? Because I think Insomniac just... They just finished Spider-Man 2, so... Yeah, probably next year. I think they're gonna drop them back to back. Anyone here played Ghost of Tsushima? Yeah, I played Ghost. Ghost is a pretty good game. Pretty good game. Anyway, Black Wet Blade has been acquired. Let's go kill the Draconic Tree Sentinel. Magma worms are evidence that other living things can turn into dragons because of dragon hearts. So my theory is that rune bears are so big because they feasted on dragon hearts and they're in the process of turning into dragons. Huh. Fascinating. Which country am I from? Well, I live in Australia. So I'm in fact Australian. Asking about my background and my ethnicity, I am in fact Lebanese. Twitch chatters are cooking up some lore. Clearly only the intelligent people go to Twitch. <laughs> Is it just a reused animation for the Dragon Slayer's Axe L2? Reused animations from the Dragon Slayer's Axe L2? What, what weapon are we talking about? You play rugby? I played rugby league as a kid, like a long time ago. <laughs> For like one year. I played a lot of sports though, yeah. What's my IP address or my mother's maiden name? No, I forgot to get the gold about Ash. And infuse this with bleed. Yeah, that's fine. We'll be alright. Well, like, it did a whole poise break in one combo, which is pretty cool. That almost killed me. Um, Archang, thank you for the follow. Rolling attack. Love when things just work out. No, you dodged it. I have no stamina. They are my first pet. So that's me stupid questions. Horns, omens, dragons have those horns too. They literally hate dragons. Do they? Rugby Union is better. Um, I mean, I watch more Rugby League. But honestly, the way that the Rugby League is going nowadays. Probably. Probably. Have two characters ready. Blasphemous Blade, one of the Rusted Anchor. Nice. I'm not half Portuguese, I'm like one like 16th Portuguese. <laughs> I'm just Lebanese. American football over rugby? I mean, I like American football better. I like watching it. Mm -mm. We're not gonna do Ludwig's Holy Blade, no. 
I enjoy using current retaliation on the Draconic Sentinel's fireballs. You know, if I do a, a parry-based run, we actually might include current retaliation and stuff. What accent do I have? I'm Australian. Love going through enemy models to look for lore. You actually go through enemy models to look for lore? Some? You're like the lore version of me. <laughs> Get him! Can we all appreciate how Arc Thrones didn't add 50 starting classes like Convergence? Yeah, that is like... <laughs> Convergence is like goes over the top sometimes. I thought you were British. That's the most disrespectful thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I'd rather be called a Nazi. I'm kidding. British people are fine. They're okay. I'm 37% Spanish Portuguese. Nice. Hell yeah. Give me the weapon! Hope you're enjoying the run. I am enjoying the run. Having a fantastic time. Mm -mm -mm. Fishman, thank you for the British 10 confirmed. bits. Teeth must be filled with cavities. <laughs> In it. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay, so next video that I drop will probably be the ranking of the Guts as Greatsword. And then after that, I might drop some stupid April Fool's video. Might do one of those. And then, I'll probably make the video where I compare all the remembrances. All the remembrance options. And pick and choose which one is the best option for that remembrance. Or which ones that you should actually duplicate instead. Make a video like that, and then, after that, I might do ranking every single Ash of War. From worst to best in PvE. Just the infusible ones, just the regular Ashes. Not the unique ones. That's probably the, um... Probably the order of which I do things. Now you don't, buddy. Another rusty style vid, yeah. Rusty inspiration. April Fool's video just re uploaded the rusty video. <laughs> no. Do you watch NHL? No, I don't. Only like American sports I'll watch will be just the NBA and the NFL. Sometimes college sports. Sometimes. I have not interacted with Rusty at all, no. I actually haven't interacted with, like, any other YouTuber. Maybe we should, like, start some beef with, like, some random YouTuber, because why not? I miss when, like, I think, wasn't Warcry and Dark Souls 3 actually have a staggering effect as well? I feel like it did. Need to take Vardy down. <laughs> start beef with the Vardy. Gotta start his own bingo league. With blackjack and hookers. What? <laughs> Call Gino out for wanting to skip Godskin Duo on his challenge run. Do you know what? That is perfectly valid, because do you know why? Because I've done that as well. I've, I've had challenge runs where I've literally skipped Godskin Duo. The funny thing is, when I, every single time that I'm d designing a challenge run, I mean, I haven't really done, like, an actual challenge run in a while, but every single time that I designed a challenge run, the first thing that I do is test out Godskin Duo. Because if it's, like, if you don't see it possible against Godskin Duo, then you're just not going to bother doing it. Because every other boss is always going to be perfectly fine against, like, most challenge runs, but Godskin Duo is, like, the one. Where it's, like, this shit is disgustingly bad. The Lendell sewers are torture? Are they? 
I still haven't got gold on Val yet. We're kind of just like going. We're not even doing. <laughs> That's fine. Start beef as an April Fool's video. <laughs> I got top 10 worst Soulsborne YouTubers. <laughs> and it's put like the top 10 most popular ones. I was like accuse all of them for like stealing my content. That's gonna hurt. I need to use this. Wait a second, buddy. Top 10 cringiest souls. Oh, I actually hit him with that. Nice. Can I get a poise break, please? Thank you. Jeez. Colossal swords don't really get the greatest poise damage, do they? They really don't. Start beef with the rage gaming. <laughs> two hours and only at Godfrey, Yui fell off. Has it been two hours? Exactly two hours, nice. I have fell off. It's fine. Take my time. I wish I had a chocolate bar. What type of chocolate bar? Die. Nice. A bar of chocolate. Just like regular milk chocolate? I don't know. Only waifu makes good points, but I immediately lose interest because everyone just refuses to use their own voice. I don't know who in only with waifu April is. Fools, you should do a tier list of every weapon on random criteria all in one by like how they smell or what you think would look better being held by Gordon Ramsay. That could be a good video. Maybe. Mm -mm, do I like Vegemite? Yes. I do. I do like it. Um... I'm not gonna lie. I mean, people just don't like it because they don't know how to, like, actually consume it. They probably just grab a spoonful and, like, chuck it in their mouth and think that's how you eat it. I'm supposed to put that shit with butter on some toast. It's like eating like raw garlic or some shit like that. <laughs> it's like garlic is amazing. But having it by itself is not. It's still gross. Shaking my head, my head. How do you eat it? You get some butter, put it on the toast. Then you get like the smallest little, like you just dip the tip of the butter knife into the Vegemite. Just the tip. And you just spread it on. Because it's very fucking strong. That's how you do it. Gonna go with the Godfrey's Talisman for the charged heavies? No, we're gonna go, um... Not to use Barbaric Roar anymore. We're actually going to go switch back to... Sweep. Stamp Sweep. And then go with Bleed. See how that goes. Go switch back and forth, because why not? Use different stuff. Going to use Civilized Roar? <laughs> Civilized Roar. There's like not many other weapon skills that I want to play with. Like I've kind of done a playthrough with every other weapon skill, so there's no need. Why no Cragblade? Because I already know how good Cragblade is. I want to use like different stuff that I kind of want to learn. Uh, 
Um, I didn't try Vegemite in Britain. Wait, is it actually called Vegemite, like the brand of Vegemite, or...? Vacuum Slice? I could probably use Vacuum Slice, but... I think I've done a... I, have I done a playthrough with Vacuum Slice? I don't know. Vacuum Slice is good, though. Actually, I did a playthrough... I know, I did a Gargoyle's Black Blade run, which is like reskinned Vacuum Slice. Is this Vacuum Slice with Destin Death, or Black Flame effect? Hello, motherfucker. Ethereal, what's going on, man? How are things? How about the Goat's Lightning Roll? I've already done Lightning Ram run. Lightning Ram is actually really good as well. In British Might or something? <laughs> British Might. That's funny. Vegemite, right, Vegemite's made my wife pregnant. During labor, the doctor pulled out Vegemite. I feel like that's a joke that I'm missing. Does Arc Thrones have its own servers? How am I seeing bloodstains offline? I think it does have its own servers, yeah. Side eye? Fucking side eye me. I ain't did nothing wrong. The joke is that I hate Vegemite. Oh, okay, cool. Why- where do these dogs even come from? I thought it died. <laughs> I thought it died. Stormcaller only? I've done that already as well. Basically, any single, like, fun sp skill that you can think of, I've basically done it. Oh, it proc bleed in one hit. Nice. That was pretty good. Poke. 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 It's your GF? What? I'm confused. I have a girlfriend? Oh, uh, Anastasia. Yeah, she's pretty cool. I would. Maybe I should like rank all of the um... The man eaters. The female man eaters across the Souls games. Cause like every single one has one. Just some like... Crazy ass lady. That likes cannibalism I guess. I must equip Golden Bell. Actually, I don't have the Faith tier equipped. No, I don't. Nah, yeah, <laughs> Have you done a no skill run yet? I have not done a no skill run. Every run has skill. Are you like the insurance company? Oh, Yui, yeah. Um, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I mean, first of all, I had my nickname before the insurance company. So, no, I came first. What is thy the insurance company is like me. Meralda wins easy? Probably. Godric the Golden. You're working for that company? I don't work for that company. Man Eater by Nelly is a bop. Valid. Do a skill issue run? That's every run. They work for me, yeah, true. True! I don't even know what Vegemite even is. It's the holy food of Australia. I was once told that I looked like Nelly, and that was the best compliment ever, even though very untrue. Hold up. By the flame of Look like Nelly? Have it writ upon thy grave. That's amazing. 
I think the camera should like stay more on his feet. Can I see how fast this actually takes to proc bleed? Stop that. Wait. That was okay. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> that definitely hurt. That definitely hurt. Um. Okay. Stam sweep consumes a lot of stamina. Is there another weapon skills that I want to use? Let's look at my list of actual war. Here it is. I could potentially get vacuum slice. Where'd I get that from? Vacuum slice. Um, deep root depths. Disgusting. I basically use like every other weapon skill though. That's on this list. That you can use with the um. Um, thingy thing. Below Lendel. Spawn it in, it's fine. We don't need to use it. Giant's Hunt? No, it's fine. <laughs> we don't need to use Giant's Hunt. Rank every pixel. Need someone to poke me with their giant greatsword. What? <laughs> Why do I read the comments sometimes? Miss. Nice. Rank all our mums. Everybody's mum is an S tier. Especially if they look like Nelly. How did that even happen? Chat, he was cheating. Ranking every texture file would be cool. Let's stay at full health and be responsible. What should we have last talisman slot? I don't know. I'm going to the store right now to pick up some Vegemite. I want to try it. <laughs> the recovery frames suck too. Confirmed I don't like stamp sweep. Turtle talisman? That could work. I could kill like the um... Oh, that's not good. I could kill like the Margit projection to get the stamina too. Or stamina talisman. The stamina boosting one. I don't know, stamp sweep is kind of mid. Longer animations, bad recovery frames, and the stance damage isn't even that good. And you can probably get more damage with like Lion's Claw and Giant Hunt. Look, the fact that I got hit there is actually disgusting. Can you do a questline ranking that's better than Rusty's and doesn't separate Millicent and Gowrie? Like, first of all, I haven't even done every single NPC questline in this game, so... <laughs> I'm not even qualified to make that. Bro, Stamp Sweep is so bad. My damage sinks? Yeah, it probably does. What's my shit at? Plus 13. I have like a blood infused weapon, that's why. Stamp Sweep finish? Nice. This shit is ass. Completely doo doo. Completely doo doo. What's the origin of my username? It's just my nickname. Of my IRL name. That's basically what it is. 
Use Waves of Darkness? Nah, that's fine. I've done a Waves of Darkness playthrough. Do you fuck with Chinese food? Yeah. I fuck with all types of food. It didn't come from an insurance company, no. Um, Vigor. Mind. Why would I want Mind? Why did they even level up Mind? I wasn't paying attention. Endurance. Wait, do I want Endurance? I don't know. IRL name is Young Gravy. True. Okay, Vacuum Slice is in the Deep Root Depths. You know what, let's go to the Deep Root Depths. Let's go do that. More stamina, more gooder. What insurance company? There's an insurance company in Australia called Yui. It's spelled Y-O-U-I. For you insured. And they just call it Yui. Oh god. Let's go kill the Valiant Gargoyles with great skill. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> I would like a more upgraded weapon, I'm not gonna lie. His real name is Yuellen. How did you know? Aroa Fruit tier list. No. Why? I didn't want to do that. <laughs> go through Lendell secret entrance? That's a better idea. We should go through Lendell instead. Fuck the Valley and Goggles. <laughs> is Yuri a nickname your family gave you? Not really my family. I don't know where the fuck it came from. I don't know where it originated from. It just has been with me like everywhere that I went. Ever since like I was a young kid. In this country, like everyone's name just gets shortened and you just get a nickname. Doesn't matter how short your name actually is, you're getting a nickname. It just happens to be that way. So, just like Yui. What's going on, mate? How are things? Basically is what happened. Mm-mm. And I guess kind of went with me everywhere. I didn't even like- I've never even told someone to call me that name, and it's just been with me all the time. Like, I don't know. It's not necessarily shortened, but like, it's just gonna get a nickname. So if you actually have like a short name like Tom, you either get like Tommy or you get something based on your last name. <laughs> they just call you by your last name sometimes. I know, this is like random shit. And those like shorten your last name. Tomo, yeah, Tomo is, yeah, that's one of them. If you're a Tom, it's definitely Tomo. <laughs> Even though it's longer, but it just, there's just gotta be a nickname. Because why not? That's hella weird. <laughs> it is what it is. I feel like a masochist because it seems like everyone hates the Valiant Gargoyles, but it's one of my favorite fights. Why? It's getting stun locked. Big boy greatsword. Has Australian internet improved? Yes, it has. Upload speed is still a bit stingy, but um, I'm, I currently have like 900 megabits down. I got like a gigabit plan, so we're pretty good now. It just depends where you are still. Like some streets have like shitty fucking cables. But it's getting better. Why do you want to steal his identity? He's got like four pesos or whatever the Australian currency is. Australian currency is dollars, okay? It's Australian dollars. Ever watched the Big Les show? No. 
I hate ancient dragons so much. I can never hit them and they one-shot you. They just have like two skinny of legs. Pesos is Mexican? I think they're just making a joke. <laughs> Gonna get the Knight Rider's armor for the Guts cosplay? Where did I get the Knight, uh, Knight Rider armor set from? What if your name is Constantinople? Um... What's your last name? <laughs> Pretty Connie. In the snow fields, disgusting. Can't yeah. <laughs> that works. Um Kano. Or just like mate or dickhead. Oi, dickhead! Thingo! Oi, you! What's his face? Come here a sec. I might as use cheat engine. It sounds like a chest thingy. Sounds like a job for cheat engine. Alrighty, armor. Let's drop every single one. Cause it's funny. Hell yeah. We can mix and match now. We can actually get some good fashion. Although well, my endurance is kind of low, I can't even actually equip the entire thing. I don't know. Ranking Guts as Greatsword? Yes. Anyway, that's how you farm for every single armor set in the entire game. I now support cheating. <laughs> Based. Um, I need light boots. That works. I look just like Guts now! Look! Even got the altered versions? Yes. Look, you idiots are out here, like, actually farming for armor sets with 2% drop rates. All you gotta do is click a button. You silly guys. I'm telling the Australian police what we did? Yes. Go tell them. It's nuts from Burke. It's Shrek from... <laughs> Shrek from Berserk. Guts from Shrek. PlayStation gaming moment? Yeah. Skill issue. Imagine playing on a PlayStation. This is why Demon Souls and Bloodborne are the worst games, because you can't use cheat engine there. Down we go. I recently did a proper completionist playthrough, including farming each weapon and armor. It took me 180 hours. Sheesh. And if you wanted to farm the shields, it'd be even longer as well. 180 hours for a completionist playthrough. And if you wanted to upgrade all of those weapons, also fuck you. I'd rather not get banned, that's valid. Celebrant weapons are BS. Yeah, 0.5% drop rate, and they're like the worst weapons in the entire game. Shouldn't make no sense. Took me 200 hours to get 250 slabs in Dark Souls 3. That's actually not that bad though. Wait, 200 hours. That's like more than a slab per hour. That's a, that's a pretty good. <laughs> One slab per hour is some nice... It's a nice ratio. I 
I have a 100% save file with all the items max upgrades and max level, and I have 300 hours. I thought it would take longer than that. But every single weapon that you have is maxed out? And I took you 300 hours? That's pretty good. I learned how to get cheat engine because of you, and now making new PvP builds is so much less... But yeah. I recommend everybody use cheat engine. If you can. Obviously, don't like drop anything that's like cut content if you want to plan on playing PvP. We're either Sekiro 2 or Bloodborne 2. Sekiro 2. Bloodborne doesn't need a sequel. Bloodborne just needs a remake or remaster. Sekiro, we didn't get a DLC, so. I would like for them to give us a sequel. And Sekiro 2 could. They could do more stuff with Sekiro 2. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sekiro, the, all they have is, like, one weapon in that game. They could flesh out the whole, like, combat art system a lot more. I don't know, they could do a bit, they could go a bit harder with build, um, variety. Build, the build creation could be better. Won't Cheat Engine get you banned from online? No. Not necessarily. You could use Cheat Engine, I mean, do you, do you just use Cheat Engine offline? And then you go online. And then you should be okay. Yeah, Blood Bonus needs a remaster. That's all it needs. Like, I don't know, if... It's hard to make a sequel and also trying to make that sequel better as well. Like, there's no point in trying to make Blood Bond 2 if you're not going to think it's going to be better than the first one. That's the way I see it. Because, like, when you're making a sequel, you have to make it different, but make it better. So you have to have, like, a bunch of brand new ideas... And not try to carry things over from the first game. Because if you do, then everyone's going to complain. So. Come here. Break this thingy. I don't, I don't really care to get any sequel. I don't even want a Sekiro 2, honestly. I don't even want a Sekiro 2. I just want a brand new game. Because they could make... They could make a Sekiro styled game. Like somewhat similar combat. But just make it in a brand new universe. To where you're just not you're not limited creatively, you know. If you make a brand new universe, you could do whatever the fuck you want. But if you're doing a sequel, you're like limited to that universe. So that's the way I see it. I just want brand new stuff. Brand new stuff. And like, think about it. That's what From Software is good at. That they're good at making brand new things. Because look what they did when they decided to make brand new stuff. We got Sekiro and Bloodborne. That's pretty fucking good. And Elden Ring. They're pretty good at making new IPs. Just let them cook. Let them cook with brand new IPs. Ugh. I just want more of the stuff that I love. We'll find more stuff that we love. There'll be more different stuff. You like as long as you like the FromSoft games. So just another FromSoft game would be more of the stuff that you love. Who knows? Maybe the next FromSoft game is probably going to be your favorite one. Who knows? When Kingsfield two? There's been like four Kingsfield games, right? When I mean, like the Kingsfield like. Reboot is basically Dark Souls. They rebooted it as they just called it Dark Souls or Demon Souls. And then they, they rebooted Demon Souls, then called it Dark Souls. Shoddy! How far this stream has fallen. It's <laughs> gone on Shoddy. How things, man? Thank you for the Prime Gaming sub. 16 months. How you been, my guy? Dark Souls 3 is literally Kingsfield 8? Yeah. Been alright? That's good. Glad you're doing well. How's school and stuff? How's the YouTube? Yeah, YouTube's been pretty good. I did get, like, my account hacked for, like, a couple days. So that was pretty interesting. But we got it back, and... We're doing well. Thought nothing would be... A top Dark Souls 3 for me, then Elden Ring ended up being my favorite game. There you go. 
they're good at making good games. I sort of think that Bloodborne was actually planned to be a Demon Souls sequel. Interesting. Well, it's a good thing that they didn't, because imagine if they did make a Demon Souls sequel. Wouldn't have had all that cool stuff. Ribbit would never ban me? Ribbit... Time him out. Five minutes. I'm kidding. Just one minute. Rank all the Souls games again? Again? I've never actually ranked the Souls games, ever. Been talking to people more so it ain't too bad? Nice. Actually making friends. Couldn't be me. Favorite boss? Um, in this game, I like Radagon the best. Um, out of all the Souls games, I like Gale. This bozo has fallen to the point of making Guts cosplay. <laughs> I know. I gotta get back to actually making some... Some good challenge runs. You know what? Okay, tomorrow we're not gonna stream, but it's gonna be a day off. The day after tomorrow, level 1, new game plus 7. I'm thinking that's gonna be the play. First try as well. Do a Sights of Grace tier list. There's like 300 sites of grace. Master run? Not a master run, no. Just level 1, new game plus 7. <laughs> That's too easy. I've never done it. I've actually never done a, a new game plus 7 run like ever. I've never done new game plus 7. So I might as well just do it at level 1. No death? No, I just want to do it. <laughs> Can you do a level 1 mage build? I saw a cool video. New game plus 7 and you destroyed Moog. You know what? All these fucking actual like skillful gamers are making my challenge runs less cool. People are doing like these level 1 no hit fucking runs. New game plus 7, no upgraded weapons. These guys are too crazy. They're out of my, you know, out of my reach. Um, I'll see you shoddy. Thanks for stopping by man. Fun ha we'll do it without using projectiles. How about that? We'll just use melee weapons. Just melee weapons, no projectiles. <laughs> I was probably just going to use like crag blade fucking iron balls anyway. How about no status effects? How about that? No status effects, no projectiles. I'm allowed to die. No cheat engine? I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll probably turn on cheat engine to make it new game plus seven, but I'm not going to turn on cheat engine for anything else, yeah. Um, anyway. Let's go down to the sewers. I'd rather the Black Knight set, cheat engine? Yes, cheat engine. <laughs> Don't even have to ban him yet. <laughs> Just left on his own. New game plus 7 is almost a one hit KO, even at high level. Yeah, I think... I think using the Ritual Shield Talisman is not going to do anything for me there. <laughs> I don't think it's going to do anything for me there. Which one have you done no hit? Um, me or someone else? Only game that I've attempted to do a no hit run in is Elden Ring. I haven't like attempted to do no hit runs or like learn the strats for other like other games. Cause I've never really cared to do no hit runs or speed runs for that matter. Cause I don't like the idea of doing the exact same run like multiple times a day. It's like so boring. But like I see all these other people doing a no hit run. I'm like, you know what? I could do a no hit run too. And then I did. And then people were like, oh, no hit run in Elden Ring is easy. And then I did it at level 1. And then people were saying that was easy too, so I don't know. <laughs> Die. 
Bad Steven. I love Steven, he's the best. Good guy, Steven. Talking to Nuke, he's done a crazy amount of challenge runs. Nice. Um, What am I doing? Why am I here? I feel like I would like another talisman that's actually useful. Go outside and get some hose. See if they call it easy. True. I gotta go upgrade my shit, true. That's what we're doing. Might as well pay attention to your stream because I'm trapped in the sewers. <laughs> Fair enough. We'll speedrun the sewers. Is that the ermine you're always bullying in my ranking videos? Yeah, Steven. My guy, Steven. How much do I need? I think I need seven of these bad boys and then... Ew! I need to buy more. It's fine. Okay, we're good. The sewers are one of the best souls areas of all time. You take that back right now. The first time I got attacked by Encher, I shit myself. <laughs> we're getting invaded at the round table. Bro, everything is so expensive. I can't even breathe in this game. Wait a minute. I have to sell some more stuff again. Fuck, I just sell this shit, I don't care. Oh, I thought I had enough. I'm a silly doofus. Um, more endurance, I guess. That works. Kind of want strength. Anyway, underground roadside. My favorite grace in the entire game. The place of which I am at most. How do you dodge Elden Stars in a no hit run? Um, you just try your best. I didn't want to do that. Um, you gotta like wait a little bit and then like run in one direction and Pray that you don't get hit. There's like a very specific strat. Mm -mm. Anyway, we do a little bit of running. Um, Andre, what's going on, man? How are things? I hate this place. Yeah. I'm not going to wrangle the graces, no. <laughs> but we do have number one. So if I did, we'd know which one is number one. This one is my favorite one. I'm too chill to melt. What the fuck are you guys on about? <laughs> What's going on here? Rank every boss in Elden Ring. I did like do an Elden Ring, or I did do a boss tier list. The other day. On stream. And what do you want to know? Name a boss and I'll give you a rating. I'll put it in a tier right now. Rank the illusionary walls. <laughs> Millennia, S tier. Fierce champions, C tier. Moog, S tier. Let's go kill Super Steven. Super Steven is broken. Fierce champions? Yeah, I know. C or D tier, I don't care. Nobody actually likes NPCs, right? Stam consumes too much stamina. I gotta compare this to, like... Some other stuff, clearly. You got a hype armor for that. That's crazy. 
Which Ash would you recommend for the Greatsword max damage? Probably a Lion's Claw. Lion's Claw or a Giant Hunt. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Have you done a crafting consumables tier list? I have not done a crafting or consumables tier list. Falling Star Beast? The full grain Falling Star Beast, I'll give it on a solid A tier. I like that boss. Godfroy? <laughs> I mean, it's just Godric, and I don't like Godric. Godric's like a... has a good OST, I know. S fucking B tier boss fight. B tier. Don't like it, too many delayed attacks. Cringe. Best Ashwar in the Claymore? Um... I mean, you could probably go Lion's Claw again, I guess. I mean, Flaming Strike is pretty good, too. Do I drop down the second one or that one? I think I should drop down the first one. I'll go down this one. Either way it works. The Omen Twins? I mean, every single duo boss fight just sucks in this game, so... C tier. Fuck the big pot. Go away. Okay, what should I use for this boss fight? Is Giant Hunt Pierce? Yes. You know what? I'm feeling like using Giant Hunt. Upward Cut is trash. I'm feeling like a Giant Hunt type of day. I just got home from the store with Vegemite. <laughs> How do you recommend I eat it? You get some toast, or you get some bread, sliced bread, you put it into the toaster. Then you butter that toast. Then you dip the tip of the butter knife in the Vegemite. Then you lightly spread it. Until like the entire has like a slightly like, you know, darker color. Drink the Vegemite, got it? Yeah. Let's fucking drink it. Grab a big ass spoon. There's no way that hit me. Now I'm mad. Now I'm just gonna go for an extra attack for no reason. See, Giant Sun's so good. Like, it does more stance damage than Stamp. And it probably consumes less stamina. Faster animation. You both- they both get hyper armor as well. I think it's less FP too. Nice. Same. Roughly the same. Life is now meaningless. What? Fair enough. Yeah, plenty of attacks can go over your head too. Nice lag. Thank you for that. So if I use this. It's nice, and it's piercing damage. Which is the best weapon buff? Blood Flame Blade. Then Crag Blade. It's just nice. I got Tree Favor plus one. I can put that on. That's useful. <laughs> That's useful. Actually, I'll go light this grace because. I don't trust myself. Who's harder, Suramog or regular Moog? I mean, regular Moog, obviously. Like, 
He has way more health, he's like an end game boss, he's gonna do more damage, he gets an actual second phase, he can heal himself, knee heal. Like the only challenging thing about Sewer Murg is that you can't proc status effects. So if you're going with like a bleed build, then Sewer Murg is probably harder, but like with everything else... No. Um, strength. Can I speed run this thingy? How fast can I go down this thing? Without dying. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna jump on this one, and then just jump on this one. I have no idea how to navigate this thing, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't know. Jump on this one, I guess, and then... Where do I go? Then we jump on that one, I guess. And then go roll on this one, I guess. And then... Jump on that one, I guess. And then go down here, I guess. None of this makes any sense. Cool. And my stupid fucking thing just like clipped on a stupid wall. That makes no sense. Basic Moog moveset is just so nice to dodge. It is pretty cool. Um, and then... Ah, uh, did I fuck myself? I think I fucked myself. <laughs> How can I land on that one now? That's like the only one I can land on. I can't jump there. I may have fucked myself. Well, that's just stupid. Who the fuck thought of that? <laughs> just landing on that one just means imminent death. Okay, let's do that again. This time without the dying. Rank the Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> I'm so intelligent, honestly. Have to go to the car. Okay. <laughs> this is my favorite Greatsword version, super fast R1s and Lion's Claw. Completely valid. Um... Okay, let's actually organize how I'm gonna jump from location to location. Can I land on that one? That'd be good. I could probably land on that one, then fall directly down there. Oh, that's just... Okay, I thought I was gonna fall off there. Well, I did. Trying the Frenzied Flame ending, and I'm trying to get to the deeper depths. And we just killed Sewer Merg, so I was like, might as well. I fucking hate my life. Um... You can skip the platforming with the parry glitch on one of the Nomads? Yeah, but that's not fun. The platforming... fun. I've seen more people smash their keyboards here than any boss. Wait, really? <laughs> Trying to avoid the Valiant Gargoyles? I mean, like, it was just faster to kill Sewer Merg. I mean, Sewer Merg is harder to kill than Valiant Gargoyles, you know? It's an actual good boss fight. I like the Valiant Gargoyles. Dog shit ash trash. I just did it- Ugh, who cares. Um... Can I just roll on that? Okay, if I go there, then I can jump there. I said roll. Why didn't you click the roll button? I clicked circle. Roll. I literally had it done the first time. And of course, I just landed on a completely random ledge to where it's like, nope. Okay, you can't roll there. Okay, confirmed. <laughs> confirmed. Now we know that we can't roll there. We have to jump. Um... Okay, so last time I was here, I kind of fucked up and I went in a different location. We could jump there. Hmm. Okay, we can jump from there. Hold up, hold up. 
Watch this big rain. Okay, can I land there? Oh, no, can just go here. Easy game. Wait. Alright, did I fuck myself again? And I can go here. And I can go jump straight down here and survive that full. And then we're good. Literally first try. Mm -mm. Blastmas blade fucks up the goggles. We might actually fight. We might fight the goggles. We might fight them. Well, since we're here, might as well get the frenzied flame ending unlocked. I saw Mati. It's gone, man. Thank you for the follow. Do you know how much more iframes you can get with a light roll compared to the medium? I didn't think it's any different in frames, right? I think it's just distance. Wait, is it different? Is there a distance? Okay, hold up. I might be wrong. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, it's just distance. Yeah. It's, it's both 13 frames. And they both get 8 recovery frames. But you just dodge further. And you can backstep a bit better as well. But like, it's useful to have... Um, It's useful to have against some bosses. Because, like, certain types of attacks you can only really dodge, like, consistently with light roll. Faster running animation, too? I don't think so. Maybe it is. It's a different animation. Maybe it is faster. That's me for real. I love dropping down from the top after breaking the ground. <laughs> Pretty cool. Betraying Melina? Nah, she'll be right. Never cared for that one anyway. Just faster and farther? That's what I said, right? That's what I said. Now I gotta put my armor set back on. God damn, where the fuck is it? God damn it. Um, any random shit. There we go. Cool. Glad to see you throw off the shackles of the two fingers. Yeah, fuck the two fingers. Them trash anyway. Nobody likes them dudes. Melana got that knockoff Mike Tyson tattoo. <laughs> I hate the deeper depths. Oh my god, there's so many ants and they're so creepy looking and they can fly as well. It's like a regular ant. These ones are fucking flying. It's disgusting. They creep me the fuck out. They're just scary. What is this item? And there's a whole, like... Ugh, there's a whole bunch of them. A gaggle of flying ants. Oh god, the noises. Ugh. I don't like them. They're, like, somehow worse than, like, spiders. I don't know how. Maybe because they're flying. They're kind of cute. The fuck out of here. <laughs> Look at them. No. Uh-uh. I live in Australia. Okay. And I fucking hate all the bugs and creepy crawlies and insects that are here too. What am I supposed to fucking like him because I live in Australia? Hell no. Okay, I just retried Vegemite for the first time in two years and I kinda like it lol. See? It doesn't have much flavor but gives a good extra boost to the bread and butter. You probably have to put a bit more Vegemite on there if you don't having much flavor. You can always play around with it. 
Everyone has their own, like, Vegemite to butter ratio. Why am I here again? I was gonna get Vacuum Slice. Why would I get Vacuum Slice? I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere around here. And yeah, thank you for the 10 bits. Did you guys have spiders the size of footballs? I mean, probably. I haven't seen one, though, thankfully. Um, why are you here? Oh, that's right. She's pissed off. Inside the temple surrounded by the waterfall southwest. I don't care, go away. I don't like you anyway. Southwest. I'm guessing this way is southwest. The smell of veggie bite is quite bad. Yeah. That's valid. Temple. They said temple. No, they're lying to me. They're straight up lying to me. Just a straight up fabrication. They said southwest. Waterfall temple. I don't understand. Who the fuck has roach emotes? The fuck is this? It's nasty as hell. With the broken gargoyle dude. Oh, like right at the beginning? Nice hit. Died in two hits. Hell yeah. We've acquired a vacuum slice. Okay, now what? I mean, since we're here, might as well go kill some bosses. Um, you can go ahead and time him out. That's fine. <laughs> I don't want to see it either way. Fight Silurio? Okay, we'll go fight the simps first. And then we can go fight Silurio. What's Vegemite? It's God's gift to Earth. That's what it is. Double Gargoyle is preferable to Elden platforming. I actually like the platforming in these games, I'm not gonna lie. Mainly because you can just quit out. <laughs> if I didn't know how to quit out, then I probably wouldn't like them as much. But they're actually kind of fun. I did the only up mod. Have you guys played the only up mod? She was kind of cool. Although it was like with a horse, and like the horse is kind of cringe. I would have rather just do like regular platforming. I don't know. Vegemite was good, but I'm glazing it harder than a donut. Honestly, the last time I had Vegemite was like months and months ago. <laughs> I don't have it much, I'm not gonna lie. But I like it though, it's pretty cool. Wow. I have Giant Hunt. Nice. Oh my... Can this stupid... Oh, this guy is actually better than me. He's just better than me. He's just better than me. Now you don't, buddy. Are the YouTube chatters acting up on Twitch were never unhinged yet? <laughs> sure. Oh, why do they get these iframes for? Oh my god, they're quick stepping. This thing parry? I don't think I can parry this anyway. Go away. Oh, come on, bro. What the fuck was that? I clicked the dodge button, you stupid, dumb, doo-doo, dumb, dumb game.
Ben Regier. Answer quick, Hunter, Hunter, or Naruto? I already said this fucking- I already answered this question, didn't I? I don't know. I think Hunter, Hunter is better. Can you use a helmet or something? The character is not very pleasant to look at? Bro. What's wrong with- oh my god, those eyes are very- <laughs> Talk about my character, he looks perfectly fine. Is Australia overrun by cane toads? I think in like certain states, it's pretty fucked up. Um, where I live, it's not a problem. I think it's like one particular state in Queensland that's pretty fucked up with the cane toads. I need my souls, or 4,000 of them. Very important. It was fine before the Frenzied Flame? I think it looks cool. You guys are just, just haters. That was that counter damage coming in clutch right there. You guys see that shit? My guy looks pretty as fuck. That's cool. We're winning. This is fine. Oh, come on, dude. What the fuck is this? This is so stupid. It doesn't make any sense. Quick step, stagger, boom, hit me. I'm literally attacking. <laughs> I hate NPCs. They're just the worst. Gonna need an AoE? Nah, it's fine. We got it this time. This is the one for real, for real. Bro, NPCs are just the hardest boss fights in every game. That is hard. I don't know what else to say. The devs are nerfing my gameplay. Imagine like rocking up to this whole ass boss room. I don't have to remember. I don't have to like imagine, but rocking up to this boss room, you think it's gonna be the most badass boss, and you just fight some stupid ass trio of fucking NPCs. You have to do this dumbass quest line just to actually fight the good boss. Is that a prosthetic? What are we referring to here? Charged heavy attack. Oh, come on. <laughs> Bro, they do so much damage, it's not even funny. Can those skulls go away? This is so bad. How do I miss? We're coming back later. This boss is too overpowered. This guy with a fucking quick step and his carrion slicer does like 40% of my health with every swing. I can't beat him. He's just better at the game. Like, what do I do? <laughs> Ugh, it's fine. Let's go fight an easy boss instead, like the stupid Crucible Knight. Die! Easy game. This has a better gaming chair? That's true. 
I thought he was gonna do the second phase transformation, but he did this stupid thing instead. I don't know why. Okay. Well, that is that done. Let's go fight the fire giant. Put some respect on my girl, Solurio. Wait, that's a girl? Let's put on vacuum slice. See how vacuum slice performs. This area was super disappointing, no original content besides Godwin. Not even the OST was near. I mean, Fortis X is pretty cool, but it is just like a reskin fight. But Fortis X OST is amazing. Um, but a lot of the underground areas just don't even need to exist, honestly. I would have loved to just trade a couple of underground areas, like, you know, Lake of Rot, Deep Root Depths. I'd trade the Consecrated Snowfield as well. And I'd trade Mogwin's Palace, but only if Mogwin's Palace gets turned into a legacy dungeon. I would make that trade, 100%. Imagine if, like, Mogwin's Palace was, like, Stormbell Castle type level design. Or Lendell, you know? It's what it should have been. I'd gladly trade those assets of those useless-ass areas that don't need to exist. Oh, why did you get that attack off first? I got a projectile, everything's fine. Look at that. W. Okay. Second phase? There we go. I'll see you, Adam. Thank you for stopping by, man. Yeah, vacuum slice is actually good. It's a nice projectile. It does pretty well. It's like the only, like, reliable projectile that you can actually pair alongside um, a Colossal Sword. That doesn't scale with, like, an, any element. It's actually pretty good. What's wrong with Mogwin's Palace? Mogwin's Palace doesn't do anything special. It's just a bunch of reskinned enemies, and like the level design is pretty basic. It just could have been... It should have been a legacy dungeon, you know? My weapon is not still on Blade, no. Like, for me, if you're, like, lacking a projectile option... ...and you have, like, a strength build with a greatsword, I honestly would recommend Vacuum Slice. Like, some bosses you still want to have, like, Lion's Claw or a Giant Hunt, right? But there might be certain areas where, like, Vacuum Slice is pretty good to have. Because it's not that, um... ...not that expensive as well. 14 FP. Actually pretty good. And it does go through enemies. You can hit multiple enemies at once. Will vacuum slice deal more damage on greatsword than on claymore if stats are equal? No, it would do... Okay, so vacuum slice, the projectile part scales off your strength and dexterity. Um, but funnily enough, going with a quality-based infusion is not going to be good. So going into one or the other is going to be best. So having either like a really good dexterity weapon or a really good strength weapon is going to be best. But the thing is, most dexterity based weapons can use things like Beast Roar or Stormblade, which I'd probably rather have, especially Stormblade. Because um, you can just cast it more. So Vacuum Slice, would, I would only pair it with like a larger weapon. And it's going to scale off your strength stat and your strength scaling. Being that this thing is an A scaling and strength. It's gonna get really good damage. I'm not sure if putting it with like an S scaling strength weapon would make it do more damage. It might. Um, but if you use it at point blank range, the weapon actually gets a hitbox. So I'd rather have it with the greatsword than the claymore. 
Listen to the sound of the flame. Stormblade is the best projectile? I agree. One of the best projectiles. Out of all the Ashes of War, I think like Blood Blade and Ice Spear are probably better Ash of War projectiles, but in terms of like the physical ones. Favorite type of potato? Sliced fries, waffle, wedges, mashed? I like all of them. Even roasted potatoes. All potatoes are fucking amazing. Stormblade can literally beat the whole game? Yeah. Stormblade is really good. Raw is best, but a raw potato? The best weapon to put Stormblade on? Um, I think like the largest weapon you can put Stormblade on is like a heavy thrusting sword. So if you like want to maximize damage, but it's just going to scale up your dexterity stat. So having a weapon that has really good dexterity scaling. Is this going to make it do more damage? Um, but I'm pretty sure the poise damage scales off your weapon as well. I think if you have a larger or heavy weapon, it actually makes it do more stance damage. So maybe having like a heavy thrusting sword is going to be the best pairing. And hitting with it at point blank range is going to make it do more damage too. Give us Mikalash in the DLC? Hell no. Mikalash is my fave? Fave what? What fave? What's your opinion on the depraved perfumer enemies? The depraved perfumer enemies? What, the ones that use the perfumer things? What do you mean? It's easy mode Ash of War? Yeah. Stormblade is like top 10 in this game. Top 10 Ash of War. Mogwan's Palace is like the sacred, well, the yeah, consecrated snowfield. Yeah. Basically, like, Mountaintops, Consecrated Snowfield, just, like, reskins all the enemies and areas, but this time they're just white. But in Mogwin's Palace, they just reskin all the enemies and areas, but this time, it's red. <laughs> it's like, okay. There are a couple of, like, unique enemies, but... <laughs> He's just goofy, I love a passionate man, and he's passionate about eyes. I don't like that fucking dude. I hate his voice, I hate everything about him, I hate the boss fight. Hey, stupid ass head. I don't like him. How the fuck does the Tarnish get to Farah Mazula? I don't know. Where are the lore people in chat? You just run after him? Yeah, honestly. <laughs> this is a subway surface level. <laughs> What was the question? I wasn't paying attention. How do we get so far in Azula? Like, how do you, like... We just, like, fall asleep, and then we wake up here. How? Melina drags you there, but, like, Melina dies. Wait, does she actually, like, teleport you there with her powers? Does she get, like, newfound powers that she sacrificed herself? And that's another thing. Why do we have to... Why does, like, Melina sacrifice herself to light up the Erd Tree? But we don't sacrifice ourselves to light up the Erd Tree. Unless we do. And just use one of our lives, I guess? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Couldn't Melina just like light it up without having to die? Is she stupid? Interesting character and his voice lines make me laugh. Well, his voice lines are very high meme potential. Good meme potential, but that's about it. Melina was cold. Somebody had to tell her that Fire's Deadly Sin is not a good spell. She's just quirky? Yeah. She's not like the other girls, she's way different. Frenzy Flame is different, I guess. I think I'm asking too many questions. Honestly, I don't even... I don't even know how we got to farm. Don't even think Miyazaki knows how we got to farm. She's literally a ghost. Add it to the list of women that have ghosted me. Shaking my head. Played a trick on you and she'll return as the final boss in the DLC. That'll be pretty cool. That'll make her actually useful. Much as I love this game, showing up at farm is literally just a plot hole. Wait, is it actually just a plot hole? 
Couldn't they think of, like, any reason to, like... They could have just put a teleporter there, at least. <laughs> could have at least put a teleporter there. <laughs> I don't know. Why is that dead moderator? Because they're active in chat and they were adamant about being a good moderator. So I've made a couple moderators. If they abuse their powers, then, then I can just remove it. Simple as that. They use that earth and peak technology. <laughs> that elevator that goes up to the lava. Fantastic design. I can get this a plus 21, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and vacuum slice this boss. This will be good, right? Oh, he didn't even dodge it. What an idiot. He tried, but he failed. Can I hit both of them at once? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, even the recovery frames are pretty quick too. So like projectiles just make the game easy. Hold on a second. I didn't have FP. I wanna like line them both up so I can hit them both. This is very important to me. I must do this. He dodged! I cannot believe that happened. Wait, don't dodge. Stay still. Nice. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to roll catch me and I didn't. Easy game. Take his flame at home? Yeah, kind of. It's actually a quicker animation though. It's a quicker animation than Taker's Flame, and it consumes like half the amount of FP. So it's it's just it is useful. It is useful. This is straight up spamming. What's wrong with that? They spam me back. They started it. Those who walk alongside the flame shall one day meet the road of the destined death. There's like a curse or something that's in place so everyone who burns the Erd Tree is sent to the Rune of Death or wherever it currently is. Okay. That's kind of valid. Oh, huge. He just stood there. <laughs> he just like stood there and looked at him. Oh, I missed. I missed. What run is next? Well, the next marathon is going to be Scythe Marathon. <laughs> um, yeah, next marathon is going to be a Scythe Marathon. I thought it was going to die there. Um, the next run is going to be level 1, new game plus 7. What build am I running for that DLC? I probably just like going with like a faith build. Um, and as soon as I find my first new weapon, I'm just gonna respec. Look, think of the positive. Now I get to fight this amazing boss all over again. No, you have to dodge in the other direction, you idiot. How much damage to do a point blank? That's not bad. Hit them both. Oh, you missed. Projectiles make Godskin do it really easy. 
Infamous from software pixel, yeah. As long as I just don't choke these guys on an actual challenge run, then it's fine. That one miss. Vacuum slice doesn't go far, it sucks, confirmed. Wait, did it actually need to hit something? Did it collide with something or something? I don't know. Because it missed twice. See, like, it's missing there. It's buggy. Vacuum size sucks. Look at that, it missed. <laughs> Doesn't do any damage there. Really? Oh, come on, dude. Just wait one second. Let me just, like, hit this guy instead. Okay, now we can fight. I love roll catching attacks. You should in tomorrow as well, no. Tomorrow we're gonna have a day off. But I should have my um the ranking of the guts as great swords up tomorrow. Either tomorrow or the day afterwards. Poise break. Thank you. Go with the backstab, just an insult to injury. Hit him from the back because it's funny. You literally aimed it at the ground? Yeah, but it's like it's a projectile though, right? Like... It's supposed to like go travel across the ground. If that was Blasphemous Blade, then it... It wouldn't work that way. Come on, buddy. I won! We did it! First try! Except for the time that I died. First try! Enable spamming that roll is like the great to pay running R2. I mean, he knows what works. I mean, it's better than spamming it in the Godskin Duo arena than like the regular Godskin Noble arena, because at least he can punish it with the pillars. The pillars! I fear yeah, Elden Ring Guts is great, so it is most likely gonna get number one. Favorite Souls game? Um, Dark Souls 3. I don't know why I was thinking about it. I answer, I answer this question like every day. Like three times a day, so. <laughs> Fuck you, dog. Oh, yeah. Favorite Elden Ring game? I like Elden Ring 2. You are false? What am I false about? False about what game I like the most based on my personal experiences? That's fair. The Dragon Crest Shield Talisman plus two. Now do Fear Sims. No, Fear Sims is too hard. Upgrade weapon? Oh yeah, true. We'll go upgrade the weapon to plus 25 for something. Wait, there's a dragon up ahead. Does that one actually drop plus 25 weapon or no? I could just do the skip, but... You know what? We're actually not going to do the skip. I always do the skip. It's fine. We're not skipping today. Die! We're actually gonna kill these birds. I regret everything. I regret everything. It's fine. I'll see you, Sky Guy. You have a good one. I just made that bird do a flip. Nice. You looks like an Android user? Um... That's like... Is that even supposed to be a diss? Like... I have- I definitely have a... An iPhone. And many Apple devices. I literally have like an iPad watching my Twitch stream and I have my MacBook watching my... YouTube stream. So in fact, quite the opposite. Like, what is this? Why aren't they dying in one hit? It's a fucking bird and I have a big ass sword. It doesn't make sense.
Like, I say this all the time, but, like, how is it in a world full of dragons, monsters, and demons? The birds, the rats, and the dogs are the worst annoying- most annoying enemies. Shouldn't make no sense. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Hit him! That miss again? Yeah, no, stop with that flying shit. Ancient dragon smithing stone. Try pebble? What weapon skill is that? It's vacuum slice. Said that there on the left. It's a nice projectile option to have. Even though it's really buggy. <laughs> Because even there, like, I hit him directly and the projectile missed. I hit him with a weapon, but not the projectile. But it's a good projectile option for, like, um, a larger weapon, like a greatsword. Hawfrost Stump is buggy, too. My, my problem with Hawfrost Stump is that it literally does zero stance damage. Like, literally zero. Not one, not two, there's zero. <laughs> Shit is so stupid. But Hot Frost Tom can actually melt enemies, though. Because it has, like, three different parts to it, and it's, I guess, like, larger enemies, or if enemies are standing, like, in a certain position, they can get hit multiple times. Um... And it can proc Frost pretty quickly. Okay, let's go upgrade this bad boy. But yeah, the hit detection can be kind of shit. I did do a run with it and it wasn't too bad. It was nice. It's a quick animation and it's pretty cheap, so... Can't really go wrong. Have I done a projectiles tier list? No. These dragons compared to Madeira are so bad moveset-wise. I mean, like, typically all the DLCs have... Um... Is that all I needed? What's my shit at? Plus 20... I think that's good. 1, 2, 3, 4. No, I need more. Had to count my fingers. <laughs> um, all the DLCs typically have... A, dra a DLC Dragon Boss. So surely we get one in Elden Ring. And the best Dragon Boss fights are always in the DLC. So... I'm willing to bet that we actually get a really good boss fight. A really good dragon boss fight. In Shadow of the Earth Tree. Shit is so expensive. Holy fuck. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Ban him? What's he doing now? Finka, what the fuck's wrong with you? Why are you stupid? I want a dragon god reskin to be Grand Sax. <laughs> That might be kind of cool. I didn't want to do that. God damn it. Actually, I need more FP flasks. Mm -mm, a sleepy dragon? Chicken feet fights? Yeah. A lot of the dragons have those stupid chicken legs. I don't know why. Could've gave him, like, fatter legs. They did, like, look really menacing. And they look pretty cool. Am I crazy for not liking Sin? I'm not a Sin fan. Like, he's not bad. He's definitely the best dragon boss fight in Dark Souls 2, but... It's not saying much, honestly. <laughs> It's just like, it's kind of like Elden Beast, it's very RNG heavy. Like sometimes he can give you good RNG to where he doesn't fly around, but then other times he just like flies around so many times and it's like, bro, stop. <laughs> like actually stop. But mechanically it's not too bad. I never timed that correctly. Mm-hmm. 
Malekith deserves two health bars? Yeah. I mean, he's kind of just like glass cannon. Does a lot of damage, but doesn't take much. Have a soft spot for Dark Souls 2? Like Dark Souls 2 has grown on me. How did it... It didn't work. Walk into it. See, it actually goes pretty far. It's just like, it has to be flat ground. If it's not flat ground, then Vacuum Slice does like nothing. That... Good thing that I missed there, otherwise I would've got hit by it as soon as the second phase started. Do I pick my nose often? Literally all the time. I can't go a single second without picking my nose. See, it missed! Vacuum slice is inconsistent. I didn't even have my shit on. That's fine. <laughs> GG. Remember when Darkman Greatsword could be defeated by a slope? <laughs> yeah, just couldn't like track upwards at all. Fun times. Same thing it was with the um the Sword of Night and Flame as well. You couldn't like aim with that shit. Make the Asher the one that does a flip or Lion's Claw. We might use Lion's Claw for Godfrey. No Golden Bow was a sin. Honestly, yeah, it is. I have the Golden Bell spell. I just need to go put on... <laughs> I didn't pick up the Ash of Wall. I will go use it now. What's my shit at? Go into that. Go into that. Um, Physic. We're going to the Faith too. So I can use Golden Bell. Um, Golden Bell. What should I use? Let's go Yeet getting up into the air. We'll go do that. Put Guts armor? This is like, look like Guts. Doesn't it look exactly like Guts? Basically one-to-one -one comparison. Roll with status effects? I already did try to do that. I had like a blade greatsword with spinning, uh, with um, barbaric roll, and I did it again with uh, stomp sweep, and it, it was okay. That face jump scare? You leave him alone. He's pretty, okay? He's pretty just like me. You look like Guts IRL? True. True. He's just a little guy, yeah. Just a little guy. It's like that weird hitbox of the Blastomous Blade where you just get like 20 damage from the Ash of War. Can I hit him and get a back sub off? I mean, I want to... <laughs> Should've did a heavy attack instead. <laughs> Hell yeah. Get him out of here. Gideon Schmidian. Nice. I'd never heard of Guts or seen him in my life. <laughs> Never heard of Guts, favorite girl in Burke. I'm the horse. I don't have a favorite girl in Burke. That did a lot of damage? Um. Well, it's Gideon. He doesn't have much health. Do a Griffith run? What would be a Griffith run? Have you read the manga? Yeah, I read it like... I mean, I'm not up to date with it. I read it like... Oh, I want to say like seven or eight years ago. I watched like the Golden Age arc anime like 12 years ago. 
I don't know. It's been a long time though. It's been a while. America's bed looks uncomfy as shit. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they could do better, honestly. They could do better. I mean, I guess she's just about that life. She's just about that life. Um, anyway. Let's go get Lion's Claw. But obviously I'm not bothered to go grab Lion's Claw. So we're just gonna go get Lion's Claw via alternative methods. It's a literal rock. Maybe she's just kinky. I don't know. Maybe she just likes to smash on a rock. I mean, if you're getting banged by Godfrey. Why not? Does you have a Discord server? I do have a Discord server. You can go see it on one of my areas of which you can click on links that take you to other places, I guess. You're a wizard? Yes. I don't have a Discord command. I probably have a Discord command on Twitch. I need to make commands clearly for YouTube. I'm just a bad streamer. B tier streamer. The rock bed is the only bed that can handle Godfrey. Long while. Have I seen One Piece? Yes. I've watched every episode. Uh, been watching One Piece for like 10 years now, probably more than 10 years. 2013 is when I started watching. It's when I got up to date with it. Been watching it every Sunday for the past who knows how fucking long, ever since episode 600. You're built like Usopp, based. Do you think Serash was in the room when they conceived Morgoth and Moog? Maybe. Unless, um, Marika had sex with Horror Lu, warrior. That'd be kind of cool. Alas, I... How long did it take for them to find the One Piece? I don't know, they're still going. To be granted audience once more. It's a cat. I'm surprised that, like, the the lion doesn't get, like, any attacks or some shit like that in the middle. That'd have been kind of cool. If I like, actually did, like, some roar attack in the first phase. Because, like, you don't really see the lion do anything in the first phase. He just undresses and goes, Warrior! Look how stupid lion's claw is. It just gets infinite hyper armor. He just never gets staggered. Isn't Godfrey technically a four phase boss? Yeah, technically. Technically four phases. Even has quick recovery frames too. Oh, uh, I was gonna time it to like jump over the attack and I just didn't. I was not paying attention. I did it too late. Too late. I got destroyed. He bonked my head with the end of the pole. That hurted my head. That's okay. We got it this time, surely we do. No hit starting from now. I wanna let go, you can't front flip over like his stomping attack, but you could probably front flip over that one. The slamming attack that he gets to transform to the second phase. Can you do something? Oh my God. <laughs> well, that's just cheating. You know what, I was gonna R1 spam. God damn it. Trying 
charge R2 with Cragway to be better? I mean, yeah, it would be better. We're just, like, just trying out different stuff, that's all it is. Whee! God fucking damn it. Oh, I wanted to do the thing. Oh, I fucked up. The Australian taxation office is taking my money. God damn it. The Australian IRS is coming for me. I want to see you get suplexed. No. Okay, ready? Watch this. Ready? God damn it. No, that didn't work the way I wanted it to work. I wanted to not take damage there. Nice. No look kill. Rip Bozo. Lion's Claw is good. Confirmed. Somebody time him out again, he's being annoying. What did I say about typing in caps? Idiot. Okay, let's go kill Commander Nial. Yeah. What other Ash of War should I use? I don't know. Um, let's go fuck around with Stamp Sweep again. Buy yourself an OLED monitor or a TV. I have an OLED TV. Makes ER experience 10 times better. Does it? Try Waves of Darkness. Mm -mm. I like pairing Ways of Darkness with a Cold Infusion. Because, like, those AoE attacks that you get with Ways of Darkness... ...actually procs Frost as well. It's pretty cool. Might use it for, like, I don't know, someone else. Maybe Loretto. Actually, no, we're gonna use it against Flaccid Sex. That'd be good. We'll go do that after this. Go get Ways of Darkness. Well, you normally get Ways of Darkness off Astel's Remembrance, right? Hmm. Man, I can go there. Because I do have the deeper depths unlocked. Are you going to rank the sword? Yeah, we're going to go do a Guts' sword ranking. It'll probably be out tomorrow or the day after. I see a ghost. You have a good one, man. You have a good one. Let's kill the lion. Get staggered with every hit. Poise break, please. Thank you. Oh, that one scared the f absolute fuck out of me. Holy shit. <laughs> that one definitely jump scared me. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, there's no way that missed. I knew there was two, I just wasn't expecting the second one to disappear right in my face. <laughs> you we use stamp upward cut WTF. Stamp upward cut? 
I already used that, but I've got a whole bunch. I just want to use Stamp Sweep. It sucks, but I want to use it still. Do a Spirit Ash Nuzlocke. <laughs> and a Spirit Ash runs just don't interest me, honestly. You have to go to like boring ass dungeons and stuff, it's like, ugh. To chat here is the next motivational quote, the most then valuable terrible thing AI. you can make is a mistake. You can't learn anything from being perfect. Um, excuse me? Why are you giving motivational quotes in my chat? Nobody wants motivation. Let me get the backstab. Where does upward cut rank? I don't know. I gotta go look into it. It could probably go to like the A tier. I still would, I don't know. I would never use it over Giant's Hunter or Lion's Claw, like ever. But it is funny to like yeet enemies up into the air. But like, you know, Giant's Hunt can yeet enemies up into the air. Just better. Does more damage and it does piercing damage. I think Stamp. Upward cut gets more hype Rommel. But like, I don't know. I think Giant Hunt looks cool. Forgetting Drip Factor? I think it looks okay. It probably doesn't look as cool as Stamp Upward Cut, but you know. Well, that wasn't very necessary, was it? I have done a Golden Lands Ashua run, yeah. What a terrible attempt at a dodge. I'm so bad at video games. He's gonna do the thing. Oh, I could have dodged forwards, I would have been fine. Is that run on the VOD channel? It should be on the VOD channel. It wasn't... I don't think it was that long ago to where it was before my VOD channel. Bro, Stamp Sweep is so ass. You can just R1 spam. More damage, more stance damage, less FP, higher DPS. Then Stamp Sweep. Shit is doo-doo. Even the recovery frames are a hot pile of trash. There's no way that hit me. I shouldn't have done an attack there. I should have. Just, I, you can dodge that attack. I just, I just suck at doing it. Clearly. The whole point of stamp is like a mini endure. Yeah, but the thing is, is other weapon skills like can just get more stance damage. And like. <clears throat> It serves as like a tanking attack, but like there's other weapon skills that have high promo. And for like Giant's Hunt's sake, I think you get a little bit of high promo, not as much, but it has like a crouching animation, so like you can dodge attacks as well. And then Lion's Claw <clears throat> just gets like infinite high promo, like way more than Stamp. Mm 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 mm. So Stamp Sweep has like no use. No use in this game. But now we know. I'm glad that we played with it. Glad that we played with it. I keep catching these streams late. How's the run been? It's been okay. Oh. Drink the juice. Good dodge, idiot.
Rolling attack. Rolling attack. Is a guy trying to sell weed to us in the chat? Cool. Stamp is slow as fuck, yeah. I mean, they buffed the speed of Stamp Sweep. It used to be like one of the worst Ashes of War, but now it's like respectable. It's respectable. It's still doo doo. Mm -mm. These warriors are the only gang, fi uh, gang fights I actually kind of enjoy. They fit the character so well. The commanders? Oh, like the commander Nial and O'Neill. Or Neil, whatever the fuck his name is. That's fair, I guess. Um, okay. What did I say I was gonna do? Here's Giants Hunter and Lion's Claw. Yeah, Giants Hunter and Lion's Claw are just gonna be the best pairings. They're just gonna be the best ones. With any large weapon that can use it. Um, let's go kill Flaccid Sex. Let's go grab... Um... Waves of Darkness. It's not gonna be doing much damage because I obviously don't have... an intelligence build, but uh, we're just gonna grab it anywhere. We could use it to proc Frost, I guess. Godskin Dewar is a good gank fight. If you like the boss fight, that's perfectly fine. I didn't pick up the Glintstone stupid wet blade. What's your opinion on Spurs? On what? What do you mean? What's a Spur? Like, what's the context? Square off and Stamp should just be two Ashes of War with one. Or I want... Yeah, Stamp could have had like a... Yeah. They should have merged Stamp into both. I don't know why they didn't do that. That's true. Why didn't they do that? On Sperm. Oh, my opinion on Sperm? <laughs> um, it's necessary for human survival. Okay, anyway, um... What the fuck is wrong with you guys? <laughs> That's fine. Okay, let's run this shit back again. Cold. It's gonna be doing some ass damage, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Hopefully it does, um... Some nice stance damage too. I forgot how much stance damage it gets. Ever gonna do a collab with another creator? Maybe. I mean, like, what can you really do in terms of collaboration with, like, Souls content? Like, in the content that I make as well. How did anyone even find Placid Dusax? I mean, out of all, like, the hidden areas of in the Souls games, like, that one's not too bad. Do Halberds have access to a decent amount of Ashes of War? Yeah, they do. I mean, like, as soon as you notice that there's, like, platforms going down, you be like, hey, look, let's go down there, and you end up going down here. And you start walking around, and you see, like, how Lokhez says, Oh, lie down. Like, it's not... It's not that, you know. Not the most hidden thing. It's not like in Dark Souls 3, how you had to, like, actually... F choose a gesture, and then use it at that location. It gives you, like, an interaction thing. Like, if you had to use a gesture at that point... Then I'd be like, how the fuck did anyone figure it out? But, um... Yeah, it just gives you like a, a button to press. Pretty chill. 
the whole pass to plus is actually in the walk up, yeah. I mean, for me, I actually missed it my first time around because I didn't didn't really notice it. But if I noticed the platforms, I would have went down there and been like, "Hey, look, a bingo run." I mean, nobody wants to invite me to fucking bingo. I probably have to like hit somebody up, but like, let me play bingo. Clearly, you guys are just dodging me because you know I'm just gonna win. I'm not gonna win, but I could win. Collab with Pootie Pie? Do you think he would? What's going on, bros? It's Pootie Pie. I haven't watched Pootie's in a long time. Pootie's is too small for you, yeah, true. I have big aspirations. I don't want to, like, you know, settle for someone as small as Pootie Pie. An Aussie ER creator would be rare. I mean, the only other Australian content creator is Vardy, right? Vardy Vidya? Do you know how to play chess? Yes, I do. Parker is good. What about Parker? Is Kangaroo viable as a house pet? Uh, maybe. Club with Rusty? <laughs> Peter Parker? Club with Trump? That'll get views. The towers where you need to use erudition from Fopses while wearing the Rayo Lucaria head? The what? Hold on a second. Ew, I guess there's a lot of stamina. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't do that. I missed the follow-up. I missed the follow-up. If you're in Australia, why aren't you upside down? I am, what do you mean? Is that a frost proc? I think I procced frost. Actually, I don't know. This guy must have very high frost resist. That looks like a frost proc. Now come back! I can see he's frosting. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna use this right here. And then he's gonna get hit by that. I'm a genius. 300 damage. Only I could have thought of something so intelligent. Where are you going? I just... He just teleported the first time. <clears throat> There's no way that hit me. If you're Australian, then you're seeing the big ass spider with the supernatural power. What? I fucking hate this game. This boss fight is so bad. This is the third time he's teleported in 30 seconds. It's like so fucking unnecessary. <laughs> there was no need to teleport this many times. Like you could do it the first time, like it's cool the first time, what the f- <laughs> I'm not playing them. <laughs> I'm not fighting this boss. <laughs> what? How? <laughs> How? <laughs> <laughs> he heard me talking shit. He heard me talking shit. What hit me? I don't fucking know. The B team from from software, they came from the top rope. Not even Dark Souls 2 had some shit like that. <laughs> it's fine. Um I'm not fighting that boss again. We're gonna go grab a medallion. Anyway, um, DS2 moment? Yeah. As if you guys don't believe me, then... Okay. Look, you guys just don't know this, but I'm always upside down. Look, let me just... Ugh, oh, fuck. I forget that. Hold up.
Um, where are we at? Like, I'm always upside down. Like, let me, let me just change my camera back towards default settings. There we go. So this is basically how we live in Australia. How you cunts going? Rank the merchants? No. They all suck. But that's uh, pretty good. It just makes it hard to drink water sometimes. Um, but you get used to it. We have like these special cups and stuff that we have to drink things out of. Is this proof enough? Is this proof that I'm Australian now? This is too Australian? Rank the sheep. Reminds me of Bushy's upside down run. Upside down run sounds terrible. Is this dude high? You ask if why I'm not upside down, then I said because I changed my camera settings. But now my camera is at the correct settings. Do I hear the music upside down? Yeah. But we're just adjusting here. How do you not fall? Magnets. Magnets. That's how we don't, don't fall. Exactly. Checkmate, liberals. Rank the ranking suggestions from chat. <laughs> Have you used Cragblade at all? Many times. But not in this run though, if that's what you're asking. Is Australia metric? Yeah, we're normal. Do you smell upside down? Yes. Okay, so now, when anybody ever asks the question, is Yui actually Australian? You can just redirect them to this footage right here. This is enough proof. Fuck you. You're alive? Okay. <clears throat> Even with the upside down cam, the nose looking bus. I mean, yeah, like, flipping the camera doesn't make my nose magically smaller. It's still gonna be fucking big. Carry back. Imagine someone joining the stream right now. <laughs> They'll catch on pretty quickly. Why is he upside down? What do you mean, why am I upside down? Why did you kill him? Because it's faster? Do you know how long it takes to like exhaust his dialogue? It's like a whole like 10 seconds. I could be spending that 10 seconds running through this terrible section instead. I don't think there's anything more calming than Shrine of Amana music. I didn't notice the music in Shrine of Amana over my just constant yelling and screaming the entire time because it's a terrible fucking area. Are all Aussies flat earthers? Yes. These things are too small. I still have my stupid waves of darkness on. Get him out of here. No, no, don't do that. Uh, doesn't like the octopus thing normally drop here? Maybe because I was like... I don't know. Bro, backstabbing these little guys is the funniest thing. I'm not gonna lie. Do you know what sucks? That we don't have a sickle and chain. That's what sucks. And you know what? I think... That the vulgar militiamen weapons should have had a unique skill. They should have had like a unique destined death skill. Surely we get the sickle and chain in the DLC, and it gets some cool destined death effect. That'd be cool. 
play Neo 2? Maybe I do play Neo 2. Have you done a no, don't touch me there run? What does that mean? I heard dog. Waves of darkness on fears. Maybe. Maybe. What was the other weapon skill that I wanted to use? I forget. Wanting to do a scythe build? Which one is the best? I mean, I did just have a scythe build on my last build video that I made. I used the grave scythe with spinning strikes. Um, blood flame blade. Pretty stupid. Pretty dumb. Lots of damage. I'm running out of bits to do quotes. It's fine. <laughs> you can just go use regular channel points. And you don't have to do quotes. It's fine. These guys are fine enough. They'll manage. Wanting to do a scythe... Oh, yeah, already answered the question. Um, you should play Blasphemous. I've already played Blasphemous. I played like the first few hours and I stopped playing. Like it was cool. I was just like... I just wasn't bothered, I guess. I just wasn't bothered. Do you want know sucks even more that we don't have a sickle and hammer? Like literally anything that has a chain that we could throw and have it be returned to us? That would be the best. That's why I'm actually excited to get the boomerang weapon. Bro, they better actually put that as a weapon. That one that we see in the trailer, that that one enemy uses. If we don't get that as a weapon, I'm gonna riot. I'll be so mad. I just like, like that aesthetic of having just something returned to you. Like throwing it out. It's just cool. That's why I like the Ouroboros' eye from Lies of P. So why is my favorite weapon in that game. It's just really good. <laughs> Australian starting class. Yeah. Let's just use this Guys, don't and hit it. Food. Oh, exactly where you are now, buddy. Everything weird. Are Our fishman, thank you for the 10 bits. Cows are called room where did it go? It went away. Say knife? Knife? Discus of light or something? What about discus of light? Are oh, you talking about, like, spells? Yeah. And I like discus of light. True. I still got, like, weapons and stuff, you know? A weapon. But this because the light is really good. Do spirit ashes make the game better or worse in my opinion? I mean, some people like to use them because they find it more fun. It just makes it more viable for their playthrough. And For me personally, I don't like to use spirit ashes. I'd rather just like learn the boss's moveset. It's more fun in my opinion. Um, I wouldn't say that spirit ashes ruin the game. Like, you know. Because it's still an option. Like, if you don't want to use it, then don't use it. You know? That's the way I see it. I thought I had stamp sweep for some reason, and I didn't. I don't know why I thought that. Do you think they'll add a new affinity in the DLC? No, they'll probably add like a new status effect maybe? Oh, but then again, it's gonna be like just as much effort. I don't know, I don't think they're actually gonna add anything. Because that type of stuff is gonna change up the base game, and you're gonna have to add like... All these types of resistances. For every single boss, every single enemy, every single armor set, every single shield and weapon for god reduction. If you're adding a new damage type. And that just seems like a lot of effort. I'm not gonna lie. Let you upgrade talismans in the DLC area? That'll be interesting. Is Cragblade on the table? Um, we could use Cragblade for one of the bosses, we'll see. You've died here twice while I've been watching? Well, like, it's... It's not the most simple area in the game. A boss respawn mechanic? That would be very nice. That, a boss rush mode, just an end game game mode to begin with. 
That would be cool. And have the rewards for these endgame modes. Be Larval Tears. And Dragonstones. Hell yeah. To add a multi-status effect like Ice, Lightning, or Blood Flame. That could be cool. That could be cool. Ice blood. Hell yeah. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Gonna be lightning blood, I mean. Lightning blood. <laughs> that makes more sense. Fire poison does make sense. Have you listened to Utopia? Um... Yes, I've listened to Utopia, yeah. That should force you to go to New Game Plus as soon as you finish the DLC. <laughs> Immediate New Game Plus. Hell yeah. Fuck you. Did I beat Nial without cheesing him? Yeah, wait, what's the cheese for Nial? And Nial's not that hard of a boss fight. I'm very, I'm very smart. I'm very smart. They call me the best player in Elden Ring. For obvious reasons. Ah, smoking, what's going on, man? Um... Let's go switch back. Let's put on Lion's Claw, I guess, I don't know. Let's go fuck up Loretta with this shit. Not really a cheese? Wait, you're talking about the... the glitch, how you can, like, fall through the... the floor? And die to full damage? Like that Moog cheese? I don't know. Is there a cheese for that one? I, I forget. I don't know. I mean, the Nial is not that hard of a boss fight. I can just... <laughs> gonna fight him easily. Get that Dragon Crest Great Shield. We'll see. Where do you find the strength to wake up every day? Um, I got shit to do. I got shit to do. You just keep yourself occupied. Give yourself something to look forward to and to build towards. Mm -mm, I just hope there's a lot of enemies that are not strong against Holy in the DLC. That would be nice. You can snipe him with a bow outside of the arena. Okay. That's pretty cool. Do I have a parrying shield? I do. First try skip. Oh, come on. I want my shield equipped. No, 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 you stupid, dumb idiot. You're the stupidest animal of all time. You're actually dumb. <laughs> Do this one more time. Come here. Use cold pots on millennia? Now we're fine. <laughs> I can dodge waterfowl dance. No! <laughs> I missed my parry. It was perfect. Everything was set up flawlessly, and I missed. And I missed! I suck. <laughs> now he's calling me the stupid animal? Yeah. That's right. Why do you do so much damage? Hold on a second. Wait. Let me do this one more time. Where did you go? Come here. Okay. No, 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 no.
You need to be angled more to like the other side. Okay, come back this way. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> That's fine. You know what? That's valid. That's valid. I'll take that one. Humblest of streamers? Me? Yeah. You know what? Fuck you. How did I still take damage there? <laughs> Can I, like, jump down there? No. Stop hitting me. Favorite build for PvP? Um... I don't know my favorite build is for PvP. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't played PvP in a long time. Normally I just like to change up stuff. Just do different things. And when I'm invading and stuff, I like using like a Stormcaller build. That's pretty cool. I like power sensing straight swords, that's fun. I don't know. Who else showers with the hottest of waters straight from the pits of hell? I like to have a warm shower. <laughs> Sometimes hot, but like, I don't know. That's just like a woman thing. That's just like what women do. Their bodies are just like, built different, clearly. I don't know what it is, there's like some biological reason. Who cares about Souls PvP? I do! I care about Souls PvP. I just wish Elden Ring PvP was actually just better. Women's bodies are built different? <laughs> You're the science guy. I mean, you know what? Point out my lies. Points out where I was wrong. A Yui Rusty Vikes Gang Squad. <laughs> um, Edward is gonna man. Wait, no, come closer. I'm sorry. It was an accident. Chad, am I bad at the game? Can you like What's the problem with PvP? Um, in this game, well, like, there's lacking the fun factor. There's no things like covenants or, like, six-player invasions. Um, and the balancing is just shit, so, yeah. And, like, a lot of the invasions, you just end up, like, it's probably due to the fact that it's an open world game. Every single time that I invade, I never actually end up fighting, like, people just going through the game. It's just, like, pre-made teams using, like, the sweatiest stuff. It feels like... With how the other game was in Dark Souls 3 and maybe in Dark Souls 2, it was like more balanced. So people were just using different stuff. And you could just use like anything that was fun. And it could just work. And it could be viable. Whereas in this game, if you're doing invasions, you have to use like the sweatiest of stuff. And you have to play the game the sweatiest way as well. Like being really passive, spamming running attacks, locked off, switching up your weapons a thousand times. It's like, ugh. Ugh. Um, anyway. That's my thoughts. Gonna invade at lower levels? Yeah, we can't really make like, any builds. <laughs> but I even done like level 20 invasions or level 30 invasions and I've still fought plenty of like pre-made teams. Like pre-made sweaty teams at like level 20 and 30. It's like, why? <laughs> I don't like it. I'll play it again. I mean, like, level 100 to 70? I mean, I've done, like, level... A. I've done, like, all types of ones. I've done, like, level 80, 20, 100, 120, 150. I haven't even, like, 137, 170-something. Like, I've just done all, like, the metas, and none of them are fucking good for invasions. Um, it's probably be a lot better when, like, the DLC drops, because it'll be, like, more casuals and more player base, right? It'll probably be better. Um, but I don't care to play it right now. It would not be fun.
Is the Serpent God Curse Sword good? Um, not really, no. I mean, it it's, sacrifices a lot of its health due to the fact that it has the gimmick of getting health back for every single... Or sacrifice a lot of damage for the gimmick of getting health back for every kill, and it's not that much health. But you could just have it in your offhand and just get more health regen. But, like, the Bandit's Curve Sword does everything that the Serpent God Curve Sword does, but just, like, ten times better. True and real. Mm -mm. Low level invasions against high level phantoms as cancerous F. Yeah. Elden Ring is so massive and it kind of makes me irritating finding people. Yeah. It takes forever to find a match and you always find like the same people and it's like some random person at the boil prawn shack just wanting to do a 1v1. It's like, bro, if you want to do a 1v1, <laughs> go to the arena. You're just wasting my time of having me invade you. It's kind of silly. I don't like it. It was like way more fun and casual in Dark Souls 3. Because like everybody could invade and a bunch of trash players are invading. Using like any random build. It was just fun. But yeah, Covenants and 6 player online sessions is like the biggest thing. Fight the Crystillians? Sure. Did I win, chat? I think I won. 12 ads in one hour? 12? What? And fight clubs as well. There's like no fucking fight clubs in this game. I'm just yeah, realizing that as well. This game doesn't have fight clubs. I tried. I lost. Is there the last boss of the night? What, Millennia? No. Nah. We haven't fought Moog yet as well. We can go fight Moog after Millennia. And I still gotta go fight Rider Beast. I don't care about the 60k, doesn't matter. <laughs> Leave me alone. Ah, Stucastic, thank you for the sub, man. Prime sub. Chat behavior. Thank you, my guy. W's for my guy Stucastic. That's why I pay for YouTube Premium, no ads. Isn't YouTube Premium getting like a, an increase in price? And how are things, Stucastic? What's going on? Hope you're doing well. Random weapon for every boss. I mean, I did an entire playthrough where um, I, have, I fought all 165 bosses with a different weapon. So I had to use like 165 weapons and beat every single boss with a different one. I already did that. That one was a very long playthrough. That was like a three stream playthrough. That was very long. Because there's a lot of bosses. <laughs> and having to like, use dog shit weapons to fight some bosses, it was like... Get the talisman? Oh, I forgot, it's fine. I'm not gonna use it anyway. Random choices? Wouldn't that just be like a randomizer run then? Um... Actually, I want to use Giant Hunt. Giant Hunt destroys Millennia. That'll be funny. Think that open world isn't built for co-op? You can't use torrents. Distance is overly long. These be connection issues. 
That is true. I didn't even think about the whole torrent thing. I haven't actually done co-op in this game, so I don't even know what it's like. Need to unsummon your phantom as soon as you end, so then you get invaded. You have to kill the invader before entering the dungeon. <laughs> Jeez. Watching the stream in 8-bit. What's my favorite weapon? I like Marika's hammer the best. The multiplayer elements getting your way of exploration, and it didn't... In a way, it didn't in the previous games. That's fair. Um, Taser, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Would it be surprised if those limitations for co-op were because the game had to run on last-gen consoles? Maybe. Why is Marika's Hammer my favorite? Well, like, Radagon is like my favorite boss because he looks really cool. And like the animation of the Marika's Hammer is just amazing. Flawless. It's really fun to use. I like hammers aesthetically and I like holy damage aesthetically. It's like a match made in heaven. <laughs> Hammers are like my favorite weapon class. Even though in this game they're kind of shit, but they're really fun. <laughs> I still like them. And holy damage is like my favorite aesthetic, but it sucks. I dreamt for so long. But I still like it. <laughs> is this all bosses or remembrances? Um, it's just all whatever I feel like doing, I guess. <laughs> It'll just be like all great rune bosses, I guess. We'll fight this one, then we'll go fight Moog, and... and go fights the Elden Beast, I guess. There's nothing else that I can really fight. I can go back to Placid Dusax and give that a shot again. But there's no point of going... I could do Rykard. Heed my words. I don't know how that's gonna work, though. <laughs> Kill Rykard with the Greatsword? I could. 40 minutes wasn't enough. Probably not. <sighs> Hollow damage isn't that bad, Imo. I mean, it's viable, right? Uh, Orion, thank you for the follow. It's viable, but it's still like the worst damage type, you know? She had hyper armor there? Good for her. Hates the regal answer the spirit? It's because you have to go light up all those stupid lamps. And like, a lot of the bosses are like leveled at medium, like mid game, right? And I'm already like high level. Like I'm just gonna go do all that extra work to fight these bosses. And they're just gonna die in like three hits. Okay, do your waterfowl dance. Oh my god, what a terrible attempt at a dodge. Idiot. Mm-mm. What's your entire vid of you ranking the incantations? Loved it, S tier video? I agree it is an S tier video. She is not having fun, is she? Poor girl. <gasps> she dodged it! How did she do that? <laughs> she is good. We're gonna go rank the Ashes of War next. That'd probably be a video that comes out in the next couple of weeks. It's just gonna take a long time to make the video. Ranking every single Ash of War. And then after that, I'll do like the unique skills. Wait, those videos take a long time. Should I have posted her in the second phase? What do you mean? No, that's they, they fixed that glitch. That glitch only happened like... <laughs> That was way back when. They, you can't when you get a when you kill her in the first phase of the repost or a status effect, it doesn't actually go to the second phase. You have to hit her again. Um, NVT, thank you for the follow. Still wrong about pest threads? I'm not wrong about pest threads. It's very situational. It's good against like a handful of bosses, and that's it. MVT with a prime sub as well? Thank you, man. W with a prime sub. Appreciate it, my guy. Prime gaming sub. Not just a regular sub. That means he's a gamer.
Inescapable Frenzy needs a buff. Yeah, that shit has ass. Anyway, um, smash. Next. Um, let's get buff, why not? Mm -mm. Look, one of like the worst playthroughs that I did with all my spell-based runs. Oh, I wasn't in... I didn't even notice to do that. One of the worst playthroughs that I did with my spell-based runs was using the Servant of Rot incantations only. Um, Pest Threads is like dog shit against like 90% of the things in the game. It's actually bad. I mean, Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike does outclass it, but you get that spell like in Farm Arsala, right? So... It does have its uses. Good against almost everything? Hell no. Okay, dude. I swear I dodged that. Can you jump upwards? Thank you. I'm gonna be responsible and heal up. Okay, stay still. Thank you. <gasps> she hit me. They get beaten by the Ashes of War in both respects at the moment. What's this for? How should I kill her? I don't know. Running attack. <laughs> I was trying to think of a cool way to kill her, but I was like, I don't know what to do. The mark. The true. Um, use it blue dances with that run? The blue dances? What, with pest threads? No, I didn't know. A boss cutscene tier list? Um, oh, should I use this gold pickled foul foot? That's fine. <laughs> it's not like I need more damage or anything. Like, We're using the guts as greatsword. It's an easy run. Strength. Makes all the difference. So you have to make, you have to, it, doesn't that still make it situational then? Because to benefit of the blue dancer's charm, you have to have like no armor, not use a weapon. <laughs> I might, I might go revisit that run again. We might revisit the pest threads. We'll see. We might do like a nut only run. We'll see. Um, let's go kill flaccid sex. Let's go run back there again. It's objectively funny to jizz your way to the Elden Throne. I guess that is based. Did I kill Elden Beast? Not yet. We'll save Elden Beast for the end. Um, let's go back to Waves of Darkness. I can never tell, like, if it's down or up. Like, <laughs> I was about to, like, jump off right off the ledge. Have we done a ranking of all my runs? I don't even have a list of all of my runs. To even do a ranking. How does he not get banned for just suggesting jizz on Elden Beast? Look, all the, everybody can say something stupid. But they're not going to get yelled at as much as we're going to yell at you. Because the difference is you're a repeat offender. Do you know what that means? You got to understand the difference. You silly buffoon. Which boss is next? Placid dude sex. This one. The big dragon. Crackblade? I should have did Crackblade. We'll do Crackblade for the Rattle Beast. Crackblade for Rattle Beast. Ironically, Pest Threads wrecks him, it does. Pest Threads does fuck him up. By this point in the game, you could use Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike, but... Why am I watching this cutscene? I don't care. <laughs> Go away. 
Let's use my buffs. It is a very cool boss arena, I'm not gonna lie. It is very cool. I'm surprised that they make these, like, grand, atmospheric, amazing... ...visually pleasing types of boss rooms, and, like, it doesn't really lag much. They did a pretty good job. That consumes a lot of stamina. That is, in fact, a lot of stamina. I don't know, how's the performance like on console? Now come back. Oh. Wait, does anybody play this on like a PS4 or some shit? Fire Mars like crashes my game sometimes because of the flying rocks and tornadoes. That's gonna hit me, isn't it? Of course it did. That's way too much stamina, holy shit. This is not the right Ash for this fight. I don't need to use the correct Ash, I just gotta use something fun. Play on the Xbox X, well, the Series X or the One X? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> it's like, where'd he go? The game runs fine for me, the loading screens is the only issue. Oh, okay. That's fair. Charged heavy attack. Boom. Playing PS4, the only problem I notice is after Loretta, if the dragon is still there. Oh my god, I hate you. Wait, like it doesn't spawn in some enemies sometimes, or...? Never noticed any performance issues. We didn't die this time. Well, not yet, but... <laughs> At least to the laser attack, we didn't die. I don't know what the fuck happened that last run. That was some bullshit. Okay, that's just not fair. You're not allowed to be able to hit yourself through your own body. Don't teleport again, please. Okay, that teleporting is fine. That one's okay. That works. That's good. Jumping attack finish. Get him out of here. Wait, he's not- <laughs> I, I thought he died, I was like, why isn't his body teleporting away? <laughs> Shit confused me for a second. <laughs> I thought he died. Ugh. Guardian 8 moment, yeah. Unlocked a secret second phase. <laughs> What's the best weapon, objectively speaking? Probably the Blasphemous Blade. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I've talked about it plenty of times in my ranking videos. Okay, let's go, go grab Crag Blade and go kill the final boss. Cragging Blade. Crag Blade. We'll go charged heavy attacks. Um, crack blade, heavy. I got two more ads. I don't know why you're getting so many ads. I heard the PS4 version runs smoother on the PS5 than the PS5 version. 
Interesting. Godfrey's icon? No, Godfrey's icon doesn't boost charged heavy attacks. It boosts charged skills and spells. Not like regular R2s. Most people stop using because the game is becomes press L2 simulator. Yeah, it's really good. But 15% more physical damage and a 10% more stance damage. You can't really go wrong. 69 likes? Nice. I'm gonna like it myself. I ruined it. Is Bloody Hellas good? Yes, Bloody Hellas is good. Wood. Do you think we'll see Marika in the DLC? Or no? Mm -mm. Bloody Hellas was good when you could war cry it. <laughs> it's still amazing. What if your digital footprint catches up to you after you said smash to melano a millennial? Um, I do not care. I do not care. She's Radagon now? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Look, at this point, they just make up their own rules. Do you like the Marius Executioner sword? Yeah, I do. Marius is good. We'll fight her shadow. Lance McDonald explained why the PS4 version runs better on the PS5 than the actual PS5 version. Interesting. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. But like, in terms of graphics, this is not gonna be as good, maybe? It's my favorite weapon, true! Wait, I need Craig Blade. Give me a second. Bloodhound Fang still good? Yes, it is. Charged heavy attack. Okay, poise break. Thank you. Is the HP gain from Prayer for Strike fixed? Yeah, it does. It's fixed. I could have poise break, but that's fine. We can poise break him now. Hit him from the back. Let's buff again. Um, yeah, I think it's like 30% um, health regen every single time that you get- uh, that you hit with it. You don't need to scale like- you don't need to put points into faith at all. You can just go into AR. Don't need any points in faith. <clears throat> Even for damage, like, just go all into whatever stat that you're using. Why is Marika's hammer my favorite? Because I like hammers, I like holy damage, and it looks cool. <laughs> That's why. And the Ash of War is fun. What's my build? It's just all into strength and I'm using Cragblade. What ending I'm picking? I mean, being that I got the Frenzied Flame ending unlocked, we're gonna go get that, right? He likes to hammer people. Yes. Something to do with foliage or something random. I don't know. I'm not that technical with the games and stuff, so. Just realized that the playing Dark Souls 3, there are more bosses that need precise precision uh, positioning and outspacing than I thought, which wasn't fun. Um, I feel like positioning is important for every boss fight, right? I don't know. But it's more important there? Maybe. Think holy damage will slap in the DLC? I don't think so. <laughs> I think holy damage will be... I don't think it'll be as bad as it is in the base game. I think it'll be just the same as all the other elements. Cause like how all the other DLCs ended up going... From all the other Souls games. Is that a lot of bosses were just very elemental resist. And if they were weak into a particular stat, it was still pretty high. 
Like Medea, for example, that boss fight had, what, 60% lightning resist, and he was weak to lightning. Because, like, the next highest was, like, 70% resist to, like, magic and stuff. But, like, all boss fights from all the Souls games, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 2, all the DLCs, they were just very, very elemental resist. So I don't see a lot of bosses being a holy resist for that reason. But hopefully, at the very least, the only thing we can ask for is for them not to be just really or most resist to holy damage, basically. As if I didn't kill him before he did the transformation. I'm a bad gamer. Oh, he's gonna give me good RNG! What an idiot. Why would you do that? And I missed. We can still win! Oh, <laughs> My buff just wore off as I jumped. <laughs> My buff wore off as I jumped, so I didn't get the kill. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Wait, so if you actually get the Frenzied Flame ending unlocked, you're like locked into it? You can't really... How should we kill him? Let's kill him with Crackblade. Nice. I killed him with the buff. Anyway, GG. You can undo the ending? Well played, Elden Beast. The toughest game to go through again? Um, I don't know. For me, I have the most problems with like Bloodborne and Dark Souls 2. Because they're probably the games that I've played the least. Become the Lord of Frenzied Flame. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. We need to be naked for this. This is very important. Nice. Um, yeah, Bloodborne, because the thing is, with Bloodborne, to get, like, really good damage, you have to do, like, Chalice Dungeon stuff. Whereas, like, in all the other games, you don't need to do Chalice Dungeon stuff to get really good damage. Because, like, without Blood Gems and without, like, you know, even, um, Beast Blood Pellets, your damage is kind of mid. You can't, like, break the game easily in Bloodborne. So, like, replaying th that one is probably going to be the hardest. Especially if you're doing challenge runs where you don't get to use your gun. I forgot about Moog! True! I forgot about Moog. That's fine, we'll go find him after this. We'll watch this stupid cutscene. Moog is the real villain. Oh, look at that booty cheek. And Soldier of Godric. God damn it. Moog is the real final boss, clearly. Why is his head like that? Why couldn't he just have like a normal head? So like, what does this even do? It's over? I mean, we gotta go fight Moog still, so... We'll do that after this. Just watching the cutscene. Thank god I can't see his face anymore. You take that back. I literally designed him to make him look exactly like me. So if you think he's ugly, that means you think I'm ugly. Say it, I dare you to. It ends the world and restarts it. It's the end of the Evangelion ending, but with fire? The manga or the anime? Do you think the endings will matter for the DLC? No. You're a blind then? Sound like a hater. This is like going to the beach in Australia. <laughs> Yeah, the movie or the other movie, yeah. <laughs> Is that the Elden Ring? Okay. That's like, that's Torrance Whistle, right? Lord of Frenzied Flame. 
So if like it ends the world and restarts it, why isn't everybody dead? Why is she still alive? I will seek you as far as we may travel. Oh, Tarn's gone. Tarn died. To deliver you what is yours. You know, one thing I hope they improve upon. Death. One thing I hope they improve upon in their next game is like facial animations. The facial animations don't look that good. They look pretty dated. They haven't like really improved on them since like Dark Souls, like since like PS4, you know? <laughs> they could do better. Anyway, let's go fight Moog. They got the same engine? Yeah. We're back! See, nothing ever happened. See, he looks just like me. At least they're moving their mouths now? That is true. <laughs> I remember, like, watching, uh, playing Dark Souls 3 and you watch, like, the Lothric cutscene. He's like, holy shit, he's moving his mouth! <laughs> Never happens. It was revolutionary. Anyway, um, Moog. Where the fuck is he at? We must go through the portal. <laughs> uh. His nose needs to be bigger. The mouth movements never match the dialogue, that is true. I gotta put my clothes back on now. God damn it. Wait, I need my stuff. Where's my weapon? Only Demon Souls does? Oh yeah, the remake. I mean, Bluepoint did a good job with the remake and a lot of things. The game looks very good. No, doggy, go away. Ew, I still have Crag Blade. God damn it. I won. I won. I won. I won. I won. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's okay. Wait, is he damaging him? Can you damage him instead, not me? You know what we're gonna do instead? We're just gonna teleport there. <laughs> Via alternative methods. What do you think of Crackblade? Top 5. 600k? I don't care. <laughs> Top 5 Ash of War. Okay, what should I use for this boss? I think we finished it off with Stamp Upward Cut. The way we started. The way we started. They could have improved on- yeah. They could have done more with the remake. Raw Bleed? Nah, it's fine. I could have did bleed though. But that's okay. Golden Val. Craig Blade makes it look dookie? I think it looks funny. Are you gonna do Demon Souls? Um, well, Demon Souls doesn't have a Guts as Greatsword. It has like a Greatsword, like a weapon called the Greatsword, but it looks like the Zwei Handle. So, no. Time to turn the volume up. Wait for the OST. <sighs> You've always struck me as an anti-bleed player. Um, bleed is like one of my least favorite status effects in terms of like aesthetically speaking.
But I'm not anti-Blade. Blade can be really fun. Blade is very powerful. How are we doing tonight? We're doing well. We are doing well. Are you going that ribbit? Should no, you don't got a time buddy, buddy. I'm gonna go um end the stream after this boss fight. This is the last one. Dearest Mikola. I'm hot, what's going on, man? How are things? The you best voice actor work in Eldring hands down. Moog? I'll watch until the end. Real UE fan. Thank you, Ribbit. I appreciate it. You're cool. Sounds like Bob Kennedy. <laughs> Um, excuse me, video game? That's cheating? Nice, solid poise break. Huge. Unlucky. Could have had the one cycle. Poise break, please. Aw, oh, it didn't poise break. Surely now you poise break. That is a G. G. We did it, we won. He has in fact been deaded. Been defeated. Anyway, that's that done. That's all the bosses that we need to kill. Cool. Very cool. Okay, so your overall thoughts, the Guts is great, so is amazing still. Who would have thought? Took me 10 years to beat him with the Moonlight Greatsword? Wait, really? He I mean, doesn't have like the easiest moves that I suppose. Okay, we're done. We beat the game. Good job. Let's go see what my comment section is on about. Let's see what the commenters are saying. I didn't drop a video today, did I? That's nah, fine. We'll still look anyway. Comments. The walking contradiction. What? I don't like looking at this shit. Those fucking short comments are so bad. They're not fun. Your best damage types video you said Bolter Grand Sax is probably the best weapon in the entire game and here are saying that the best weapon in Lendo is a Star Fist. I said that Bolter Grand Sax is one of the best. I don't think I ever said it's the best one. Am I going to ignore you? Yes. I'm not very good at these games except parrying. That's fair. Parrying is fun. So you got a secular then, I'm guessing? Where are the good comments at? Chaos Blade my favorite before I actually get it placed second to last out of any Dark Souls 3 katana. I mean the Chaos Blade and Dark Souls 3 can't be buffed so it's like... How good can it really be? Out of all the Elden Ring katanas they decided to put Ichimonji on the fucking Meteoric All Blade. I don't know why Ichimonji wasn't just like a, a weapon skill or some shit. I don't care. Actually, I want to see what the re results are for that thingy. Because everyone's commenting on that one stupid thing. <sighs> we need more hammer love. This is not good enough. Hammer gang. People actually like curved swords more than straight swords. That's actually very surprising to me. I thought people would like straight swords way more. I'm surprised axes even got... More than hammers, or like just as much as hammers. 
I posted a comment you should refresh. Too late. Next time, be quicker with the comments. You should specify what game you're talking about. Why? <laughs> it's all the games. All the games. Anyone. Every single one. Anyway, uh, we're done for today. We are done. Uh, we're not going to stream tomorrow. We're having a day off. i got to go make some videos and stuff. Um, day afterwards, we'll probably, probably play Elden Ring again. Probably do that level 1. New game plus 7 run. See how that goes. Anyway. Are anyone posting anything useful about DS3 information in 2024? <laughs> There's not many um, older game videos. Older videos from the other games. I don't know how to say it. I'm stupid. Anyway, catch you guys around. Bye.